but you don't care i i thought it was very interesting actually i think it's actually a, a good move from all sides so for everybody in the uh in the chat that don't know we could talk about it now dallas what's going on is toronto is to, in trade talks with atlanta to deal pascal siakam and right now dallas is rooting for them to uh for atlanta to be open to that deal because then they could come in as a third team and be and have a way to acquire clint capella on their roster while uh pascal siakam goes to atlanta and those are like the few details that i heard about it and i thought it was just really curious i thought it's actually a good good talking point to talk about because uh atlanta i think they would be better with trey young Dejounte, and pascal pascal being that versatile guy with them uh versatile in both defense and offense he seems like he could play well with guys who who uh, are ball dominant and I, I just like it i like the look on both sides and dallas as a way for them to get clint capella have that rookie come off the bench and really have him learn the ropes more a little bit and not be a main guy immediately i think uh i think this is a is, is a nice trait to talk about man so what you feel about it what would atlanta be giving up for siakam the only things I've heard about was mainly Pascal and Clint. Uh, I'm pretty sure they have to get rid of John Collins and everything, right? John Collins is in Utah. I'm tripping, bro. So what, what, do, <laughs> yeah, what do they what do they have? What DeAndre Hunter? Like what are they giving up? Hmm. That's what I, I don't know. I don't get how they're getting Pascal. That's what I'm confused. I don't hmm. that's what doesn't make sense to me. Draft picks? What it could picks be to Atlanta really have. It could be some draft picks. I don't know. I don't know. I don't, I don't know. That's what's confusing me. I think and they have Atlanta. Atlanta got some Atlanta got some young guys that does have some type of potential. Not too what, crazy. AJ, AJ Griffin, DeAndre mm -hmm. Hunter. Um mm -hmm. there's one more. He has like a crazy name, and I always forget it. Kong. Let me see. Yeah, yeah, I think it's him. I think that's his name. Yeah, he's nice. But if you're getting Pascal and you're getting rid of Capella to go to Dallas, you'd probably want to keep a Kong. I mean, bro, you know? I mean, I don't know. Uh, that's their talks. They're in the talks, and that's something for them to figure out, man. With some trade picks with a lineup like that, Toronto looks like they are going to commit to the rebuild. So, I mean, what are they going to do with Pascal, bro? Like, there's no reason to have pascal there there's none why do they need pascal siakam why does who need pascal siakam toronto well i don't know what toronto's doing so i i don't i don't know i don't know if they're committing to a rebuild or not but if they trade pascal that probably answers that question Mm -hmm. I just don't think Atlanta has the pieces to really. If there, if there's many teams that want Pascal Siakam, I don't think Atlanta offer the best deal. I feel you on that, but we'll have to see. So Siakam's on his last deal, like this is his last year. So I think Toronto's probably looking at it like he's gonna turn. He's 29 now, and he'll th turn 30 next year. It's crazy. These guys are aging like crazy, bro. Getting old, but uh, Pascal Siakam, bro. I mean, you just can't let him walk for free, Mars. You can't. Because after this season, he's walking. So they're going to have to deal him somewhere. And that's probably going to hurt his trade value where teams, you know, teams aren't going to be trying to invest in Pascal like that if they're not sure that he's going to be staying for at least another year or two. So that's where that trade value is going to be down and they'll be able to finesse a type way where they won't have to, you know, get too much from him or give, give out too much to get Pascal. You feel what I'm saying? I guess, I, I guess I'm gonna be honest. I prefer the ice cream tattoo that people are never gonna see. But. The ice cream, the ice cream. Yeah. Mm, ice cream so good. No, 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 no. Yeah, that, that's, the, that's the that's the that's the we should have gone with. But I would I love to talk about that. <laughs> this is why human human beings. I'm losing more and more faith in. Like it's crazy that you will allow people to get so much money. Off of them doing like AI, like repeating cowboy, cowgirl, cowgirl, ice cream so good, ice cream so good. 
da, 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 da. it's like bro what is wrong with you guys bro like what's wrong with you guys bro i've seen other people copying it and they, they be getting views on their tiktok lives doing the same yes thing. yes bro I might, I, might, I might have to bite the bullet and do the same thing what you if know? we did that what if we did that during pc weekend my with, uh, to, with the chill town and ticket ticket quotes <laughs> that would be it, fire i think it for the right price hey for the right <laughs> price 2k a stream mars yeah it's crazy it's, it's crazy that's it's bro that's that like bro why do y'all why do y'all put so much money and energy and attention into stuff that holds no value there's no value bro I, I don't I don't know. I'm really I don't know, but hey, get your bag, man. Get your bag. Get your so. bag. If people dumb enough to buy it, hey, I can't blame the person, bro. I gotta blame the people. That's why I don't talk crap about the people doing it because it's like they're taking advantage of stupid people. So it's like I'm not mad at the chick for doing that. Y'all the dumb ones that keep funding her. It's like OnlyFans, right? Exactly. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna be mad at the girl for doing that if y'all keep funding her millions of dollars. Like I that's a lot of money, bro. You gonna pass up a lot of money like that? Like, what are we talking about? Like Mars, if you it's like now, nah, let me not do it. Let me not do okay. it here. <laughs> Mavs only have one. What's FRP, uh, Mars? First round pick. First round pick. So no to that, but I'm happy with seconds for Capella for Tim TSJ. Hardaway Jr. Tim Hardaway Jr. plus McGee as huh. Say this name uh, for me. A Kongwu. O Kongwu. Okonwu or Okongu? There's a G. That he just There's a G, right? Okongu yeah. is now starting. Use our first four wing like PJ Washington, etc. PJ Washington is so average. But that's what you need. Average, average players to fill out your roster. So shout out to him. RJ said players choice only fans coming soon. I'm maybe. Down. Hey. I'm down. Maybe. You know what I realized? You could do only fans for like any any reason. Yeah, it doesn't have to be explicit. You could just be ironing clothes on OnlyFans. Yeah, like you could do whatever you want. My friend told me like you could do uh, DJ. It's like it's like pay, it's like Patreon. Mm -hmm. But you could do are, yeah, you could do DJing on OnlyFans and like sell yeah. mixtapes and stuff, and not worry about copyright. Yeah, you, you can do whatever you want. It's it's actually it's like, well, I've never been on it, but like the premise is like it would make sense. But I mean, it's got the the reputation now of. The explicit content that I know they'll be indulging on, but it's fine. Oh no, I don't be on that. Mm -hmm. I don't. I don't. Mm -hmm. I got. I got the hub, bro. What I gotta. What I gotta. What I gotta go pay for? Where I, can I see. I seen. I seen that hub. clip. I seen that clip you posted where that guy knew every single <laughs> website. <laughs> he that be was on. crazy. <laughs> <laughs> that was crazy. Well, I'm so upset that 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 deserved to go like viral as hell because that was hilarious bro that all was of them crazy oh he, he just named, kept going like bro. he named two and then he's just more i'm like bro we get the point <laughs> bro well he named x and rr i've never heard of that in my life before. not once mars i've never heard of that website he'd be he'd be going to the depths he needs to find whatever he's looking for <laughs> that boy's an addict bro <laughs> yeah that was that was crazy <laughs> Bro, that that's a he's actually a good friend of mine. We actually grew up together, so I, I love him. His name G Sav, or I think he's changed his name to Dark Savage, whatever he wants to do. That's mm. my guy, man. That's that's like a brother to me. Shout out to him. Shout out to him. Mm -hmm. But uh, let's drop the link in for everybody so we can talk about this. There we go. W Open Gym. Dub, you know I'm 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 starting my my new show on my channel tomorrow. I see. And you, I, I hate. Oh, actually, I want to talk to you. That's you a smart publicity, right? No, you're terrible. You're a terrible what person. I no, I see. Oh, I saw you in the chat say that Chill Town and Low can come up, but you can't. Not even that. It wasn't even that. It wasn't even oh, that. I am ahead. upset about that, though, Mars. <laughs> I'm ahead. very upset about that. That Chill Town and Low got up there, and I still haven't even gotten an invite, but it's cool. It's cool. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but <laughs> you fucking, you, you lazy bastard. You call it open court. Hey, they call it open court. They call this open court. I was like, I've got a name. There we go. Free publicity. You, that's just small. You, you lazy. Opinion, that's just small. You lazy mo ever, bro. Tell me that's bro. not smart. Tell me that's not smart. It's smart and lazy. You could. It's smart and lazy at the same time. I was oh, yeah, so a, mad I'm at a you. I'm thousand percent lazy. I've never denied that. I'm just saying it's smart. If they call it open court, 
when they when they call open gym open court, and then I go ahead and make my own show on my channel called Open Court, that's just free publicity from the panel. <laughs> <laughs> that's just smart. Like I don't know what to do. That's just common sense. Like I, I'm I'm a marketing yeah. genius. I'm like Yo. you've given me a name. So Yo, like, bro. Just do that. There we go. Bro, you for stole... anyone who doesn't know, for anyone who doesn't know, Open Court on my channel tomorrow, five you p.m. Stole... Eastern time. There you stole go. you stole full court and open gym's name and just combined it to one. They call open gym open court. I just copied the name. No one was actually using the name, so I've done nothing wrong. Terrible. They just kept they kept misrepresenting open gym. Mm. And if no one's actually using the name, I'm just ahead of the curve. Like that's just common sense. <laughs> hey, that's more I saw I saw Thank that. Shit. No, that I, saw that Mars, I was like, so- I, I, Dub, I, I you're just fun. jealous. You ain't come up with that. That's no, 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 no. I just, exactly. I hate, I, I hate laziness, bro. And I was like, this is so smart, but lazy. I'm like, lazy. No, 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 no intuition. Thing, I don't need to make stuff difficult. If the answer's right in front of me, let me just take the answer. It's right there. I don't need to do rocket science. No intuition whatsoever, bro. Uh, See, so you're, a, you're a hater, Doug. That's a great name. That's a great name. I'm a hater. For sure, uh, I will be honest. I am. Yeah, I would never deny not being a hater. Yes. you honest, man. He's just honest. Yeah, I'm, I'm definitely a fucking hater. I, I don't. Yeah, yeah. Dub, you can pull up to open court. <laughs> this guy, no, no. <laughs> man, he, 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 he can't hoops. get invited to hoop talk podcast. That's he has sickening. to. He has to show me he's worthy. Like mm. right? that's no, sickening. Dub, how do you feel that we're getting killed on the on the on the shorts for saying Michael Beasley would beat Larry Bird one on one? I seen that. I seen that. They just don't know ball, bro. They just don't know ball. Yeah, someone someone said I was crazy, and then I asked why, and then they brought up defensive win shares for Larry Bird to show that he could get out of here in a one on one. A team stand for real. That's that's the thing. See, I have Larry Bird held in very high regards. I think he's top ten player of all time, one of the best peaks of all time. Blah blah blah. But comparing the nba and those accomplishments to one-on-one basketball like it's not the same thing like you bring up that larry bird has three mvps no doesn't MVP. mean anything in the context of the discussion of one-on-one because Kyrie irving would beat steve nash one-on-one we all agree with that right yeah mm-hmm. we're not gonna bring up yeah. steve nash two mvps like mm-hmm. there's no point in bringing up these accolades for a one-on-one debate i just i just don't understand it but let's take it a step further just because LeBron James got these all NBA defensive uh, titles, don't mean I trust him to be locking up people. I just yeah, like one on one defense and team like Draymond Green, team defender, excellent. One on one setting, it doesn't mean he's the best ever. Like he's still very good, but it doesn't mean he's the goat. Like one on one defender, one on one and NBA basketball just can't be compared. And I just don't like that people seem to think. Like someone said that. Um, it was talking about Michael Jordan or something because Larry Bird, he said Larry Bird would cook Michael Jordan one on one. And he was talking about like young Michael Jordan. Young Michael Jordan wasn't the best on ball defender at the time. If you go back and watch, he was a great off ball defender, played passing mm-hmm. lanes, blah, blah, blah. Mm-hmm. His post defense wasn't very good. He wasn't particularly strong. His best defensive attribute was the fact that he was great at guarding smaller guards because of his quickness. Larry mm-hmm. Bird was the antithesis of that. So he was obviously going to struggle against a guy like Larry Bird. Because he wasn't this all-time great defender. You remember Michael Jordan in, in 1988 or 89, etc. Because he became that later. Yeah, it's another, like, people just start bringing up stuff that's so pointless. And then they act like they're right. And I'm like, you don't know what you're talking about. But that's that's they don't have They don't have the open-mindedness. And that's the thing. Like, there's a lot of people in the uh, basketball world that they can't comprehend that there are people who hasn't even made the league, who's not even great at, like, NBA basketball. And we'll cook a lot of these dudes out here. No, honestly, Dub, there's a perfect example. You know who y- y'all heard of Devin and Lab? Yes. He beat um I forgot who an NBA player beat. I think he beat um Gerald Green. Was it Gerald Green? He beat some NBA player in the one in one. Yeah, that nigga's retired, man. I, just, I don't know if De- hey. did did Dell beat did, Julius Randle or did he just play one? Game. Game. It's kind of yeah. tough. You said what? Did Dell beat retired, Julius Randle or did he just play one ones with him? I heard that he beat him, but. People want like, oh, you gotta show me the evidence. I mean, okay, uh, fuck it. I mean, I don't I, have yeah, the so, evidence, but Dell's not a liar. I never yeah, know so him let, to be a liar. Say, let, so if Dell beat Julius Randle, Dell's never been in the NBA. Julius Randle's an All NBA player. It's not out of the realm of possibility that All NBA players can lose one on one to someone who's never played in the NBA. I think Dell would beat Draymond Green one on one. 
Dub, do you think Dell would beat Draymond Green one on one? I actually do. Dell's game. There we go. And that's no Dell's disrespect game. to Draymond Green as an <laughs> NBA player. Like one on one and NBA basketball just aren't the same thing. And I think that's where people get messed up. Like I'm not saying Michael Beasley is obviously not better than Larry Bird. I'm not even saying. And even if you think Larry Bird would beat Michael Beasley, I don't think that's crazy because I think of all players from like those older generations, the evolution and blah blah blah. Larry Bird is one of the people who I think one on one that translates to any game, his type of game, just that jump shoot and the counters, blah blah Post. blah. Mm-hmm. I just think Michael Beasley is better than most people ever when it comes to one on one. That's why I brought out Michael Beasley and Larry Bird. <laughs> but you like, love Michael Beasley. Where did this come from? This came out of nowhere. One on one, he's killing most people. Like, I don't know what to say. <laughs> he just is. Like I'm not talking about playing exactly. in the NBA. I'm not talking about team basketball. Just one on one. Michael Beasley's beating most people to ever play basketball. He just is. Mm-hmm. Um, I mean, shout out to Michael Beasley, man. Oh, I appreciate you guys talking about the Haw- my Hawks. You know, you know, we could tell it's pure off season right now. Yeah, we spoke Hawks. about we spoke about the Hawks way too much. Yeah, yeah. I mean, but I think it's well, I think it's a three team trade that's gonna happen potentially. That's the only way that I can see it working because they do want to keep Atlanta does want to keep Big O because I do think it's time for him to start because I I love his defensive potential and. I think Pascal will play better with having a point guard next to him because I I, I forgot his role in Toronto. I think, you know, they're asking probably to do a little bit too much, but I mean, I, I like it. I oh, appreciate what, you, what, what you said about me, Morris. I'm not going to lie. I just to be able to talk about podcast. I ain't never, I didn't say you didn't deserve to. Hurtful, you said that. Hurtful, hurtful, hurtful. I said you can come on open court tomorrow and you declined. No, no, no. I want to be on there with you and Dream. You know what? One yeah, day, one day, you just have to. Dang, earn you made him feel bad, Morris. Dang. Damn, he left. That's crazy. He saw low and chill time oh. there. The, the Hoop Talk podcast is just a certain level of basketball IQ you need to have to be able to get on. Or some mm. clout. Low mm. has the clout. Chill time has the basketball IQ. And Doug. The clout <laughs> is not there. And the basketball IQ, you just copy me. Like, can I really get you on there? The lie. Yeah, you, yeah. you know what's so that, funny? You know what's so funny? I have seen you <laughs> developing to more of my mindset. And you're just taking all of this credit saying that it's me copying you. Your ops, you're actually no, sorry, sorry. Do, uh, You're only going to bring up Kobe. That's what you're, you're going to do. Bring no, Kobe. not even Kobe. Just some of your stances have changed, bro. And I'm like. A lot of my stances have changed. Not because of you. No, no, no. I'm. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying that your takes have been aging to more of like what I was saying before, and now your takes Such are more of like Giannis. Yeah. Rudy. Eh. Eh. Mm. Kobe. Eh. Yes. Who else? Shaq scoring. What about Shaq scoring? You're not as high as high on it as you were when you first came out. Still probably top five, but for sure. Yeah, okay. Okay, see, but I'm not saying that I'm the reason, but now you're more you're more of like where my stances were. You're just yeah, you're developing I, I think I've, I you're think developing I, properly. You're I think I've just properly. stopped. That, that's, over actually, that's actually insane when you just said develop properly like he's just Yeah, that's crazy. I think I just stopped <laughs> we're not overstating, but I think when I first came on the show, I was like very big on peaks. So, like, when I was talking about players, I was basically only talking about peaks. Mm-hmm. But as I've started acknowledging the rest of the career, which is actually very important, I've started to change my tune on guys like Kobe and Shaq and Duncan, all of those guys, because before I was just looking at them in, like, lenses of, like, three years, which is probably very disingenuous. But now I've stopped doing that. I have different opinions. But me and Dub are talking way too much, and we have guests up here. So, hello. Oh, I was, I was going to ask. Yo, I was going to say, Mars. I was surprised that we guys are having a winning bias debate. They kind of did something, a perfect example of winning bias, when they said if Carl Malone had two rings, he is top 10 player of all time. I'm like, yeah. I was, yeah, I, I I was, I, yeah, I didn't yeah. get with that one. Yeah, I didn't subscribe to Yo, that. Yo, I, I said I said in the group chat, because I actually caught it. I caught it. Uh, like I caught them in that conversation of winning bias, and I told Flo, and I said, "Bro, I said you just literally explained perfectly what winning bias is." I said, "Because of all those things, your opinions on changing them drastically. If everything's the same, and your opinions changing on winning and losing, I said that's just a flawed mindset. Like, so the winning bias, yes, people do change their rankings because of wins and losses, and we're saying that that's a flawed mindset to have. Just because Jerry West was losing." 
if he starts winning all of a sudden, we're not going to hold him to a higher realm. It's just who he was. It's just off a chance that he started winning. So it's like, like they, they clearly represented a phenomenal case for us why there is winning bias in the realm and why it shouldn't even be that important. But, hey, I mean, to each its own, man. Like, that was crazy. Anyone want to talk? Uh, yes. no. I just had a keep going because yeah, I can like, keep going. You guys, you guys are meant to be on there. I'm meant to just be laying back. Yeah, you guys I'm going to carry the other three haven't been talking. Like KB and now, KB go ahead. Look, listen, I'm old bro. school, man. I, I speak when I'm spoken to. <laughs> I, I, I used listen, to follow that same. Y'all were talking about the Hawks. I had no interest speaking about them. See, 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 look, see, 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 look at this. Like, yeah, I'm gonna be on. I don't talk about that ball. This ball playing with you guys. The off season see, see, it gets disrespectful. It gets disrespectful. It's, it's the Hawks. Like, why can't we talk about Atlanta? Like, what's wrong with my city, man? No. It's it disrespectful talking cares about Golden about State. Atlanta. 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 Who cares about Orlando? I like, I like to keep talking about oh, the Atlanta. Okay, okay, okay. I don't, okay. I don't, we don't talk about Atlanta, Orlando either. Hold up. I like the winning bias argument, though. Like, I, I thought that was a yeah, good argument. They yeah, had but you know about winning bias. Yeah, because everyone went quiet. Yeah, yeah. I was, well, I mean, I was I'll, waiting I'll, for y'all to hop on. I thought I'm I'll not gonna lie. I thought you were about to go sure. into a rant, so I just, I just go ahead, know pirate. Yeah, go ahead, pirate. Shout out to pirate. All right. Well, I mean, you know, I've got, I've got my official top 100 list. I think any true basketball fan should have Dang. one. You got it all. Yeah, we're, uh, we're all frauds. We're all frauds. We're all frauds. Yeah, I'm, I'm, you're all, you're all, yeah, I'm not gonna lie. Frauds if you're not working on at least working on your top 300 list. Pirate, pirate, do you have a photo or something? Do you have a photo that you uh, can send to the pirate? I mean, chat? I got, I got it, I got it right here. Unfortunately, it's the deal. Is, zoom while he reads it. Did Bill Wallen make the list? Of course he did. Is it top one hundred all time? Yeah, top one hundred yeah, all time. Go ahead, okay. go ahead, pirate. Let's read off your top one hundred. <laughs> you want all 100? Yes. We're going to have a yeah, beautiful yeah. TikTok. Yeah, I want to I okay. see, I wanna see right. this no, top No one interrupts as we get through this yeah, top All in order. order. All in order. Actually, wait. Before I mean, you start, what was your criteria like going into making this? Good song? question. Good question. So, wait, yeah. Wait, wait, uh, I, think, I think anyone who says they have an exact criteria is lying to themselves. I think there are far too many factors to, to actually have uh, a pure criteria. But roughly, I would say my criteria breaks down to... 20% best year, 20% top three years, 20% top seven years, 20% complete career, 20% whatever the hell I think I need to factor in to, <laughs> to make it correct. 20% so, miscellaneous, basically. 20% yeah. miscellaneous slash eye test yeah. slash uh, uh, obscure factors that, that should be considered. Okay. Um, so, all right, let's go. Never number one. Number one, Jordan. Number two, this is going to be uh, Mars. Number two, Wilt. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> okay, okay. Well, here's the other uh, caveat to the list. That uh, it's basically broken down into groups of five. Because uh, this kind of ties into what you're saying with Beasley versus Bird, which I agree with. Uh, I think he probably would beat him. You know, I mean, a big thing that made a couple big things that made bird great was he could rebound he could pass mm -hmm. that doesn't come in that, that doesn't play when you're playing one-on-one -on -one, you know basketball is a team game there are five guys on the floor so basically it's groups of five of uh the five best at their position uh so you could think of the top five would basically be the all-time team starting, starting five the six through ten would be team two etc okay so, with that considered, MJ, Wilt, LeBron, Magic, Duncan. Top five. Number six, Kareem. Number seven, Bird. Number eight, Kobe. Number nine, Steph. Number 10, KG. That's another one that might be considered a little controversial with some. I like this list, actually. I'm not going <laughs> to Number 11, Shaq. Number 12, Dr. J. 13, here's another one, Carl Malone. Okay. <laughs> Carl Malone, man, I'm sorry, bro. It's just yeah. very convenient hey, I, I know, placing. I know That's all it is. It's just very convenient placing. That's all I can you, really say. You, 
I, I mean, it's going to be because he's the third that's best power good. forward of all time. That's Number 14, good. Oscar. Number 15, here's another one for you. Third best shooting guard of all time. Guesses? Anyone? George Gervin. Oh, my. Okay. I mean, bro, six That's foot good. seven. Six foot seven could score anywhere on the court. Block. Rebound. Uh, what? 52, 53% career uh, uh, efficiency? Come on. Uh, 16, Hakeem. 17, KD. 18, Damn, is crazy. 18, Dirk. 19, Jerry West. 20, Harden. Unfortunately. So Harden's a point guard. Or Jerry West is a point guard. Jerry West is a point guard. Harden's a shooting guard. Okay. okay. Oh, man. Did he say KD yet? He said KD in that five just there. He said KD. Yeah. KD in okay, okay. 17. So no, your whole list, Eddie Duck and Hakeem was the front. Oh, boss, we, we got it. I can't hear oh, him do this, bro. I'm sorry. Yeah, so we, so what we're hearing is that it's just one, like through fives. So every five is point guard, shooting every guard. Five. Oh, I get it. Yeah, okay, so so, the, every so for everyone who's confused, the way you have to listen. So for example, Magic was in the top five. So Steph was in the second guard. five. Then the third point guard on who he had was West. Jerry West. Was it Jer- Oscar Robertson was the third, and then it was Jerry West. So instead of listening to Jerry West at 18, think of him as the fourth best point guard of all time. Okay, okay. Actually, instead of listening, Akeem instead of Olajuwon instead of hearing like KG, instead of hearing KG over Shaq, because KG was 10 and Shaq was 11, think of KG yeah. as the second best power forward and Shaq as the third best center. Yeah, that's how you so and George Gervin, hey. I can't explain that one. That was just- okay, so George Gervin is second greatest two guard to you. Wait, so, so you know what? George Gervin is the best center ever. Yeah, he, he, has George, he has Will as the best big ever. Best center ever, yeah. I do. Yeah, I'm absolutely. I hate Why telling people about you. Take, take, take all the hype that people have for Victor right now. Take all this. No way. He, he can no. handle the ball. Brother. Let him get it off. Let him land. <laughs> Brother. <laughs> yeah, you got to let him land. You think that. Victor can handle the ball because, because everyone's playing five out and there's, and there, there's, there's no real defense. <laughs> Take a look at Will Chamberlain for uh, the Globetrotters, mm. uh, and then tell Why tell me that, tell me that Victor can handle the ball better than Will. Can, mm, can I ask you yeah. one question? Can I, wait, wait. Can I ask you one question? Yeah. I mean, wait, what? Why, why did Why did Will blow that three one lead in sixty eight though? Like what happened there? Like why, why, say what, what now? Happened there? Why did Will Chamberlain blow a three one lead versus uh, the Celtics? What happened? And the year before that, he smoked Bill Russell. So what 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 happened in that year? What what happened? Please, please. Well, I don't know if you're you're aware of how when when you condense a league down to nine teams, and then you have one team that has uh, an extremely high level of talent like the Celtics, it's very hard for other teams to break through. Mm-hmm. Like it's not the a coincidence. It's not a. What happened the year before was that Will Chamberlain averaged uh, fucking eight assists that it took fifty years for a big man to break. And if you think Jokic just is like the first big man who could pass in the last fifty years, like you have to factor in the difference in the game. He wasn't passing because he was okay. A good okay, so how did he blow three one? Wait, wait, wait. Did he? How did he blow three one then? Because I need that answer. Like, I, what happened in that year to where he blew the three one? What happened? What happened? Yeah. What happened? I don't – because basketball is a game of 15 players, and no matter how oh, good you are okay. – No matter how good you are, every basketball game has 240 minutes of floor time, right? And the very most one player can play is 48 minutes. So can you explain to me the world's playoff translation real quick? Yeah. Uh, w- would you like to start with uh, when he won the championship, uh, averaging 29 rebounds, 23 points, and 9 assists? For the playoffs, yeah, you can also start, talk start, about start, start, how's that playoff start, start play? Is step, I, w- I want to talk about George Gervin being at three, the third greatest shooting guard all time. That's why I want to talk about. Yeah, we we can get we can get to that, but we'll change that. Yeah, even, if we'll change, but even if because you put the each five is in order, correct? Like from one yes. is the best. Bit. Yes. So you think Will Chamberlain is not only the best center ever, which the I second guess, best player. Of all you time. think he's the second best player? I do. Yeah. I think. Uh, uh, I think this is 2K, bro. I can't think of a single reason as to why. <laughs> the fact that you, you have to translate Will Chamberlain's talent to 2K is pretty amazing. In the last 100 years, how many seven foot one barefoot human beings 
have you seen? Who can? How many seven footers? Who can? Who can? Who can? Who can, who can, who can, who can, who can at, at seven foot one, who can bench press five hundred pounds? Oh, who who can run? Who can run a four seven forty? Who the Washington Redskins wanted to draft to play tight end? Nigga, do you think mm. this actually bro, think really? running track, bro. We can assume who in who in college who in college who in college had a high jump that would have qualified for the sixth best if he were an Olympian would have qualified for the sixth highest high jump in the world at seven foot one all those four hundred no one's denying no one's denying Wilt's athletic capabilities everyone thinks that Wilt is like some anomaly of an athlete no one no one's denying that but yeah and so the only He's okay, still not on. better than someone like LeBron, Kareem. Um, he's not the best center Why? of all time. He wasn't Why even he better? He a better Kareem center than better Bill. In college and then Why isn't he better yeah, than yeah. Kareem? I, I, I do know this about Pir Pirate has Bill Russell very, very, very low. I will say that. Very low. Like Relatively low. Relatively low. He hasn't like as like the ninth best center. I don't even think. No, 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 no. No, no. The, the seven. One, the niggas play off the is low. Low. Was low. I knew that. And two, there was team. There was years where he actually had a built team around him. Wasn't he with the team with Jerry West and Elgin Baylor, and still managed to lose in the NBA Finals or something? Mm. Yeah, they lost. Uh, the did he also still manage to win in NBA Finals? Yeah, in '72. Dang, that's yeah, winning right. bias. So that's KB, good. that's winning bias, though, bro. You're you're bro, winning. He didn't even win the most. Winning bias. Winning bias. Like, if you've he ever played sports, anyone who's ever played sports understands that. You know what? Guess what? Sometimes the ball bounces the wrong. Way. No, no. Sometimes, 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 sometimes the ball never bounces the wrong way. You can't say that, bro. Uh, you can say that about anybody. You can't ever, say bro. the ball bounces the wrong way. No, why so if we're the can, shot, what no, happens? I, I think you can. I just think that he, Will Chamberlain, and as respectfully as possible, I don't think he played the most optimized basketball game for winning for like the first four years of his career. So I can't really. I agree. No, I so agree. I, I think after that, so let's say around 64 onwards, he retired in, what, 72, 73? So he played maybe nine years where I'd say he was playing at a winning level of basketball. And then I would also 13. say his... And I'd also say, yeah, out of 13. I'd also oh, say really? then his teams, I think, were talented enough to compete, and they did compete. They were making deep and they runs, ma making finals runs. But when you look at the level of success he had and how often I would argue... Not they lost because of him, but he definitely didn't give them the best opportunity to win. I'm thinking 1969 finals when he somehow gets injured, which I don't know what happened, but his, he couldn't play anymore. Hurts his well, team chances to win. 1970, well, game seven, when he makes one, one out of 27,000 free throws and they lose that game and Willis Reed is on one leg. 1968, when Philadelphia blew a 3-1 lead to Boston after they had already beat them in five games the year before. Will Chamberlain wasn't tremendously great in that series either. Like all of those things where if you want to call it winning bias, you can. I'm just looking at his individual performance, win or lose. It seems like he seemed to not play as good as maybe the numbers would suggest in most moments that would be significant for winning. And then we say the ball bounced the wrong way and that Boston had this extremely talented team, which they did. They were very talented. But I think Will Chamberlain's teams were second in terms of talent or you could argue number one in terms well of talent. So I think that's why I think Will Chamberlain gets a bit too much of a benefit of the doubt compared to a guy like Bill Russell, where we say Bill Russell's teams were very talented. But Will Chamberlain had his fair share of talent as well and didn't echo similar levels of success. He had, he had some talent. But uh, again, uh, and this is something that I've learned over many years of sports betting <laughs> and, and studying yes. players. Yes. That, uh, l listen, bro, like if you pit, you, you can pit two teams against each other that have uh, equal talent mm -hmm. and someone's going to win, someone's going to lose. You can pit two teams together where one team honestly has 55% of the talent and the other team has 45% of the talent. And that team yeah. that has 45% of the talent is still probably going to win about four times out of 10. And so if that happens to be during the championships, that's just the way it goes, man. Like if you if you honestly think if you honestly look at sports and you think that every championship 
has ever, has always been won by the best team, then you just don't uh, don't understand probability. I want. I want. I want. I We agree with you. Yeah, there's no there's no doubt that I agree, and I'm not. This I'm, boy I make, is I killing you, man. Yeah, man. Yo, I, I told you. I, I love you. Pirate, pirate oh knows. Me and him be talking in the comment section. Yeah. Hey, and, and, and hey, Ma Mars, it really is. It, it, it's a, a pleasure to finally uh, speak with you guys face to face. I want to make it clear. I'm not saying that Will Chamberlain needed six rings or whatever, because I'm, you know, I'm not the rings counting. Guy. I know. I know. Just, no, no. I, I think I think you honestly, you you assess his talent and you don't think it's as high as as I yeah, think I, it I, is. I think, his, I think his athleticism is off the charts. I think defensively, he was easily the second best defender of that time. Obviously, Bill Russell would be number one. But I think he was clearly... Nate Thurman. Second. Nate Thurman. I, for, I constitute Nate... Because when I think about Will Chamberlain, I'm thinking the whole 60s. Nate Thurman is like mid-60s, 70s. So I, mm. I, it's the same era, but it's like a different era in my brain. Like, I, I, If you get what I'm saying? Yes. But Nate, Thurman, yeah, well, Nate Thurman would definitely be in that conversation. But with Will, I think... His offensive skill set trumped will trumped Bill Russell exponentially. Yes. But his talent offensively, I think, held his teams back in terms of how they built offenses. So when I he could do more things, mm -hmm. but then his ability to do more things led to him doing so much that it was at the expense of other people making the team worse. So mm -hmm. it's like counterintuitive that I'm saying someone who could do more, ultimately doing more made it worse like bill russell, uh, knew I, his, bill russell knew his limitations so he didn't take as many shots he found his he found his offensively gifted teammates he played out the high post high post dribble handoffs um found his teammates whereas will chamberlain could do those things but then early on especially his lack of willingness to be a playmaker and, and pass held his team's offenses back and then when he elevated 64 onwards and actually added that playmaking to his game that's where I think he started playing good basketball. And but when he did, when he did add that playmaking to his game, what level, what level did he bring his playmaking? I, I, um, I think Will Chamberlain was one of the five best playmakers in the league when he actually added the playmaking to his game. One thousand. And, and and how? But when Bill how, Russell, how, when Bill Russell's doing that for a career, and Will Chamberlain does that for, because I think once he got past about six, once he got to sixty nine, I think his offensive game just tailed off completely. and became a defensive guy. Kind of like Bro, Russell, wait, you can't happened. you can't totally say that though because look at look mm -hmm. at his efficiency as his points yeah, dropped. His efficiency, his efficiency, his efficiency went up exponentially. And so he grew, thing, even so. in his final even in, in his his final year, I think he, he shot uh, 67 percent. So I mean, he proved all the way up. And he, if you want to do a direct Kareem versus Will comparison, uh, look look at uh, Kareem's best year rebound. Okay, and then oh, look Will at clears him as a rebounder. Look at who led the league in rebounding that year. Will Chamberlain was an old man, and he got more rebounds in the exact same year that that Kareem got his highest rebound total. Mm. Yeah, Will, Will was undoubtedly a better rebounder. But so with, so with Will, so just just to clear, uh, five major cate stat categories, right? Will Chamberlain, best scorer. Will Chamberlain. Best rebounder, Will Chamberlain, able to give you eight to nine assists per game for an entire season and an entire playoff. Will Chamberlain, if they tracked blocks, I I, I believe Will Chamberlain would be the block leader. Probably, probably, yeah. I love probably. But um, no, just well, just watch games and count how many times he's blocking shots. Yeah, it's it's ridiculous. But uh, can, I want to start with question. Can Can yeah. I get my point? Oh, my bad, my bad. Okay, um, I think. With the when I spoke about his offense tailing off, I do his efficiency went through the roof. I think his last year was like seventy percent from the field. Someone can check exactly. Out. But yeah. it's all, it's also very well documented that Will Chamberlain, in the process of trying to be the most efficient scorer in the league, would pass up shots that weren't basically guarantees for him to score. And I think that also holds him back. I do think if you go and look, there will be many times where Will Chamberlain would have a shot, but if it wasn't seen as a gimme bucket, he wouldn't shoot because he was trying to be the leading field goal percentage shooter. And it's those little things that it holds back the overall ceiling of your team, where um, Chilton brings it up all the time. Game, I think it was game seven he brings up, where Will Chamberlain was nine of 10 from the field and teams and his team didn't look to get him involved. That's yeah. not true. He chose not to shoot. His coaches no, made it a very, a very clear. 
Yeah, one of true. his coaches in LA said, Will Chamberlain needs to shoot more. We need him to shoot. And he wouldn't shoot more because I believe that, you, I don't know if Wilt's ever said this, I believe he was very conscious of his field goal percentage and he wanted right. to lead the league and would ultimately start taking less and less shots. And even though he was getting, at that point, maybe four assists a game, his playmaking dwindled because he didn't have the same scoring threat he did from 64 to 68. Where I think it's his best overall as a player because he was scoring at a very good level. So teams would have to react to that. And he was also passing. Early on, he had all the scoring, no passing. Later on, he had passing, no scoring. Right in the middle is where I think Will Chamberlain was at the absolute best of his powers. And you can undoubtedly argue, argue 64 to 68 Will Chamberlain is better than any stretch of years of Bill Russell. I won't argue yeah. that too much. But what Bill Russell was able to do from 57 to 69, that consistent level of all-time great defense, playing within the flow of the offense is more valuable, in my opinion, because Will Chamberlain was a detriment offensively, in my opinion, early on. And then later on, he didn't look to score and I also held his teams back. So I think that's why I favor Bill Russell over Wilk, because consistently you knew what Bill Russell was going to bring you and it was going to bring you high level value, whereas Will Chamberlain, it seemed like he would play for stats more than actual team basketball, in my opinion. I, I agree with most uh, most all of what you just said. I think we're just weighing those different factors a little bit. I am a mm -hmm. huge Bill Bill Russell fan. I mean, mm -hmm. I love Bill Russell. I'll, I'll tell you, my, my, when I look at a player, the, my very my most simplistic breakdown, the initial breakdown of a player, is just offense defense. I feel like there are two sides of the ball. I'm looking at offense. I'm looking at defense. Mm -hmm. So when I look at a. <sighs> There, there are a lot of great players that are, are much heavier on one side than the other. And I feel like Bill Russell yeah. is one of those players. Yeah, I mean, Magic, it, Johnson it, would be another one. Magic yeah. Johnson's another, but I just consider Magic Johnson's defense, I, I feel like it's overblown in the negative by a lot of people. He wasn't a great defender. He wasn't a horrible defender either. Mm -hmm. He was okay. Bill Russell... When I look at Bill Russell versus Will Chamberlain, I mean, it sounds like you you agree that Will Chamberlain was a great defender. I yeah, mean, they were they were they were different defenders, but Will Chamberlain, as far as just pure rim protection, protecting the paint, he's as, he's as good as you get. Mm -hmm. So the disparity on the offensive end is so great. I mean, Will Chamberlain, honestly, he had probably, if not. He he I, I I believe he he had the best post fade that that we've seen. I, they, I believe he had the best drop step. Will Chamberlain's uh, drop step would cover fifteen feet. I mean, he would he could cover so much space. He was the the best that we'd seen to that point. I agree. I mean, Shaq's drop step. I'm gonna take respect. I'm gonna take Shaq's drop step. Okay. I just see. Uh, yeah, I, I disagree. I just feel like Will was so much more flexible. If you look at the actual space, I mean, uh, Shaq, Shaq was a monster. His strength was a monster, but just the the actual physical space that Will mm -hmm. could take take with one step was amazing. I mean, he, he could literally he 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 could cover 15 feet. You know, oh, 1000. I mean, you have to widen the lane for Will Chamberlain. I mean, yeah, uh, so and, I, and I agree with what you're saying. He did not, did Will Chamberlain maximize his ability 100%? No, but I believe that even to what well, he did, no, yeah. play, no player maximized their ability 100%. I'm like, curious still for no the uh, rest of the 100 players list, though. Right. Where, do we get, where do we get to like 22 or something? I I believe believe like uh let's see uh well at 20 i had unfortunately i had james harden i'm not a harden fan i don't like him but i've got Harden 20. 21 charles barkley 22 now this is this is a guy that i really want mars to check out and watch him put him on yeah okay yes all right and like really understand this guy and spread the word to all these kids because they need to know rick barry I've actually been Small trying. Play. I've been. I've been watching Rick Barry more, and yes, I, twenty-one. Rick I, Barry, basically, I, twenty-two. Yeah, twenty-two. Yeah, great play. Anyone who hasn't gone on back and watched some Rick Barry, if you can find ABA film, that's great. NBA film, if you want to go, just go watch seventy-five finals. Even though that's not peak Rick Barry, just find what you can of Rick Barry. He's a tremendous player. One of the best. Like we talk about passing small forwards, Larry Bird, LeBron James, Rick Barry. He's probably not as good as them, but in that not second quite. tier was. With Scotty Pippen, Rick Barry's right yeah. there in my opinion. Was he also a pretty good shooter for his time, too? 
Yeah, the, mid-range jump shot was there. The, mid- the mid-range jump shot was there. He could get to the rim somewhat. I mean, the free throw percentage is a bit of a bit. Yeah, bit. the free throw percentage. Yeah, I don't know because, 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 yeah. 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 because he's not shooting it. Yeah, he's not shooting it because he's not. But sh- he's not shooting it. But he could shoot. Okay. He, he wasn't like, he wasn't like he could West, absolutely like, shoot. He, he would be pulling up. He would be consistently pulling up from twenty-five feet with a hand in his face. Because remember, without the three-point line, the defense has collapsed. In that era, most shots you had to take was with a defender in your face. Mm. Rick Barry could get a shot off from anywhere. He could pass. He could rebound, score inside, outside. Good defender. Led the league in steals uh, as a small forward, almost three steals a game. The only man in history to lead college, the NBA, and the ABA in scoring. He led the NBA in scoring as a sophomore. 35 points a game. He currently is the highest. He has the highest career average for final scoring in the NBA. 40 points a game. W trivia. Rick I mean, Barry. Yeah, against, trivia. against the against Walt's team, he averaged like 40 a game against that team. He lost, unfortunately. But he, he averaged like 40 a game. And then 75, he won. And some would argue that Golden State team was not great. And he won yeah. with that team. So I mean, no, I mean, up to that point, that was the biggest upset in NBA's finals history. They were why? predicted to get, they were predicted to get swept, and instead they swept. Why doesn't he, Rick Barry, Why doesn't Rick Barry get more love? I'm always curious about. You know why, Dub? You know why, Dub? <laughs> he's funny. Is it because he's old? It's he's a white guy strong. from the seventies. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, yeah, he's not. Yeah. He, I, I was, I haven't like. I what Rick Barry is someone who I'd never really watched a lot of. I'm trying to do more homework now. Like the things that do stick out, like I said, is the playmaking, very high IQ, can read passing lanes. He can shoot. He's not Jerry West as a shooter, but he can shoot. Um, had a very good um, handle at the time, especially for his size. Like he was just a very, very good player who a lot of people sleep on. Um, if you do a, like a top ten small forward list and people like leave him out, like you haven't just done enough homework, in my opinion. Rick Barry is. All time great, but then I get told I hate the older generation because I think Michael Beasley would beat Rick Barry one on one too. But well, that doesn't I mean he, that, yeah. he might too. But yeah. are we talking the best exactly. one? That, that's yeah, I know. Talk- exactly, it's two different conversations, but people can't. I separate. completely agree. I, I, do, I mean, talking about who's the best one on one is is like talking about who's going to win a three point contest or who, exactly. who's going to if you had some rebounding contest, who would win it? Like, okay. Yeah, Wait, exactly. Rick, I'm talking it's to not, you know, Rick Barry or Rick Barry and John Howard. He's just on top of no Mars. Rick Barry. Okay, guys. Yeah. John Havlicek, John Havlicek right. was a better defender than Rick Barry. Um, probably probably got to the rim a bit better, but other than that, I don't really think he... I don't think he shoots better. I don't think he passes better. And John Havlicek could pass, but I don't think he passes better. Um, so, yeah, I'll go with Rick Barry. I think John Havlicek probably, probably had some better longevity, maybe, but that's the Rick Barry. Hey, Dub, I'm about to leave so you can let somebody else out real quick. I'm about to head out. Oh, uh, oh Dev. Oh, Dev. I gotta go. I gotta go. No, How dare you have a life? Ah <laughs> uh, man, let me read a super chat real quick. Winning bias is not a real thing. It's something made up to help people like Nick Wright and ju- to justify LeBron James' finals record. Also, Reggie Reg is a nasty guy. Hey I man, listen. He's a winning bias. But uh, let me let up some more people up here, man. What's good, fellas? How y'all doing? Oh, not context. Oh, God. <laughs> Yo, what's up? Hello, people. You good, Ray Ray? Ain't nothing much, my boy. Mm-hmm. Yo, this, this guy's list is kind of interesting. Interesting Can't bad lie. or interesting good or just interesting? Um, Both ways, man. It just uh, uh, The interesting part to me is how you how you do, like, the five-by-five five tiers. Like, mm-hmm. the tiers, I don't mind the tiers. It's just like how you trying to do, like, by position. That's, that's the part that messes it up a little bit. But um, is it, it is interesting. It, it, it throws off the overall list. list. Yeah, it throws off the overall right. list. Right, 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 right. I mean, but the but then if you put uh Shaq, Akeem, Wilt, Kareem, and uh, David Robinson on the floor at the same time, that's not really a great basketball team, right? <laughs> but, yeah, but we're not asking you to rate like your top five lineups. We're asking you to right. rate them by. Well, right. think, think of it. Think of it this way. Like, I, I consider the second best shooting guard has to be better than the fourth best uh, center because the fourth best center, there are three other guys I would choose to put on the floor ahead of them. Mm, see, see, okay. okay. Uh, I, I, I you see can't. the flaw. Yeah, in how you, then, I, see then the flaw you're in I see the flaw. 
the floor and how you making your list is like you're trying to set up your best top five on the floor at once. Do you well, do we're, the not, same we're, thing really we're not really today. asking that. We're not really asking yeah, that. The, yeah, the responsibility you're not really, you're not really asking to give you the top five lineup. And if you give me a top five lineups, like you're, you know, then, all yeah, right, then, then, yeah, 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 then I, I see that logic. But if you're talking about individual players now, no, that don't make sense. You can't just well, tell me just because you're the best center. You're not your fourth best center can be better than, than the second best. Oh, yeah, that is, that, that that is, yeah because that, then then you can benefit from being in a quote unquote weaker position. You can be ranked higher than someone right. like the center right. position is so stacked. But there is they no, end up I, having to I, heat I, at sixteen. It's like right. I don't think they're they're, they're, they're being a weaker position. I, I feel like there are five there are five players on the floor and all five players have to. I guess the, the, be, the best way the best way I can put it. Do you think George Gervin is better than Hakeem? Um, I you have uh, Hakeem at sixteen and George Gervin at fifteen because George Gervin is the third best shooting guard. But you have yeah, Hakeem I do because uh, yeah, because I believe there are three there are three other big men that I that I would put on the floor ahead of him. But if you could pick one, let's say you're building a team. Uh, right. But now we're talking yeah. about one on one. No, 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 no. no, no you're, bu one -on -one. you're building That's a team. You're, you have, you yeah. have the, you have whatever pick. So let's say Hakeem and George Gervin are the two options you have at picks. Shaq, Kareem, and Will have already been taken elsewhere. You have Hakeem right. and you have George Gervin. But do you take George Gervin because there's less shooting guards better than him, or do you take Hakeem because he's better? Well, no. I mean, now you're saying. Well, I mean, in that situation, it would it would all hypothetically be on who was on my roster and who was on all the other rosters. But I could I could take I could take I could take Akeem. But the reason the reason I would be taking Akeem is because the people ahead of him were off the table, and so now Akeem has moved up to number one for yeah, that but, spot. But Kobe and Michael also gone, and George Gervin would be the number one shooting guard on the board. So now it's just down to who would you rather have? Who's the better player between those two? Then I would probably take uh, Gervin. So you, yeah. you think? So you think? Okay. Well, first, no, I, first I, off, I, I mean, I, like if you guys, I think I think y'all need to, I think y'all need to give George Gervin a little bit more respect than he than. I can give George Gervin respect. Yeah, I can give George Gervin respect, but not have him. Not all of Best shooting guard. George Gervin better than D Wade for for talk. No. Yeah, I don't have George Gervin. I, uh, I mean, yeah, I, I have, I have D Wade behind him. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Can you give us some reasons? Yeah, absolutely. Sure. Uh, right. George Gervin was more efficient. He was a much more efficient, smoother scorer. And once again, he played in an era where you had to get your shot off with a man in your face. And if mm -hmm. you've if you've actually seen George Gervin play. <laughs> What what era the the D Wade what player? What dub is any super era? <laughs> he's, losing, he's losing me. He's losing me, son. Any super <laughs> I, I, I do you factor in defense? Do you factor in defense within, within these two conversations here? D Wade and uh, Gervin? Yeah, I do. And George Gervin was an underrated defender. He also gave you blocks. He gave you rebounds. He was right. six foot seven and long. Wade and Wade was a rated defender. Oh, so, he was underrated, but Wade was rated. <laughs> right. Rated very high. That's, so That's a bar. Ain't gonna I don't think you – you D. Wade would look different if he played in George Gervin's era. He would not have the same flash. One on one, just one on one. Don't jump him, yeah. that's true. That's true. But um, now, but I think with D Wade, with D Wade's um, athleticism, his speed, his strength in that era. Right, he, he right. would be dominant as well. And also, let's get something straight. I have I have D Wade right behind Gervin, and like I'm not upset if you like D Wade over over Gervin. Like I obviously I I, I value D Wade highly. That's all right. in all, I think I think George Gervin. I would rather have a six foot seven, long and lanky shooting guard who can shoot the ball. Because that kind of makes sense to have a shooting bar, guard yeah, that can shoot. I don't know. Kind of funny. Yeah, you're, you're getting to my. I want. I want you to share your views on Allen Iverson as an all-time shooting guard. Mm. Okay. Now, mm. Oh, now, now we got. That's yeah, oh, nice. nice. All right. Well, I, I mean, I can just go ahead and play spoiler, and I, get, I could. I could finish this list of. 
I could finish this list of 100 and you won't hear Alan Iverson's name. What? What? Yeah. Yeah. And first off, no. first off let's make Back it clear. Up. I'm 44. I paid to see Alan Iverson play. I was a huge Alan Iverson fan. I had an Alan no. Iverson jersey. No okay. Talk to no, him. Talk you to don't him. have to say to... there ain't no way. Because I'm a huge Latrell Sprewell fan too, but I don't I don't have him top hundred. All right. What, what Alan Iverson was was top ten misused players all time in the NBA. Alan misused. Iverson would have been a great 20 point 10 assist point guard. All right. And if you think if you think a six foot tall, 155 pound guy who shoots 39 percent is is and can't play defense is your ideal pick for a shooting guard. I'd love to see the rosters you put yeah, together. Yeah, him at shooting guard, you, I, I, I'm with you on that. Him at shooting guard was definitely a detriment to him, but to say that, yo, I don't know. He's losing me, bro. But he's not, 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 are you, are you going to blame it on Larry Brown, though? Like, because that, that's that's the main way he was used. Like, are you going to blame it on Larry Brown? Bro, if you were there at the time, you know Allen Iverson ran I'm old enough, bro. Allen Iverson was a hype machine. Everybody loved him off the court for good reason. All right. <sighs> But I mean, uh, they, they let him. They, I, I don't care who it. I don't care who it was and why it was. All right, but he's jacking up. He, he was the post Jordan era. Sir, 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 sir. Wait, pie, pie, pie. Yeah, we're speaking about, speak about a, a time period where oh, culture man. actually oh, matters. That's what we're talking about. Like to act like Larry Brown. Culture Bradley. matters now, though. Bro, it's so. It's, it must go. Must most more now recently that players they get a coach fired like it's nothing. Look, look, it's look at what, look at what um, look what Trey Young is doing already. Right. Allen Iverson, right. on the other hand, he couldn't he could not get Larry Brown fired like that. Like yeah, he was that's, that's real about this. Right. So Larry Brown actually sat him down for not coming to practice. Like, like I said, we he was a whole spiel. No, I'm not spiel about this. <laughs> Let's be real. It's just the confluence of events, dude. I mean, it, like, it sold tickets, it sold jerseys, it got them on TV. Everyone loved that. Because he was it great, though. Game. It's not like he was an average player. And if you want to make it seem like anybody could do that, no, yeah. that's not true, bro. He was outperforming his limitations. He's like, that, that was the nice. goal. He was outperforming Winning his limitations. Okay, is shooting, okay, shooting 39% and having a 50% career winning percentage outperforming here. There's and no also, way. you consider Iverson a great like, Morris, oh, winning you know, bias. You put a shot coming up. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Where, like where is Russell? Can I ask him a question? Sure. Damn, he left. What's up? Hello? <laughs> what what the Yo, where, where's Russell West? Where, where's there Russell Westbrook ranked for you all time? Uh, Westbrook is 58. Damn. 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 He was pretty inefficient, man. Keep the same energy. That dude was inefficient. Even for this. He was 39% inefficient. Oh. Oh. Okay. oh so also, it's because of the 10 rebounds and 10 assists. Better. better uh, I'm not arguing. Better. With better. Him. better Better floor game, better, better defense. Yeah, actually, a little bit of height, dude. If you seriously think like uh, having six foot Iverson as your shooting guard, take uh, scoring thirty a game is a good thing. Please name me in the seventy five year history of the NBA your second favorite six foot tall shooting guard. I don't think the bars are high to be top one hundred. You have seventy five <laughs> years to choose from. Please name me your your second favorite. Second best six foot tall shooting guard. Well, I don't. Well, Iverson doesn't I don't, have to play shooting guard. He can play. Well, well yeah, no. He, he can guard, play the point I know, guard. I know Tiny Archibald averaged like thirty one time. Yeah, right. Does that count? I don't know how tall he was, but he was small. He was at six one. Yeah, he led the league in scoring. Yeah, did, did. Wait, wait, wait. Does he count? Yeah, Tiny, he wasn't a two though. Wait, Tiny was. Hey, a I know, guard. I know. I said I know he wasn't a two, but he was what six foot, averaging thirty. No, right. I said shooting guard, and that's the thing. That's what I'm saying. He was misused and miscast. Like I'm sorry, I, I, I agree. I agree. He was Where, misused, but if you, if if we can both see he was misused, right? Yeah. Why would we then blame him? Dox him for that? You're doxing I, him. For I, something I guess what I'm saying, control. if if you can see how he would be better utilized, and I'm with you because I say this all the time, AI was misused. Yes. If you can I see how he would have, if he one. was used optimally, how mm -hmm. high do you think he would have been? Now, I, I think he, I think he could have been a top ten point guard of all time. So if you if you can see that with the level of talent he has in the game he displayed, 
Yeah. You having him so lower is play. based on stuff out of his control. Now. Control. He didn't, he, didn't, he, didn't, he didn't display it. He didn't display it. If Michael Jordan had taken 50 shots a game, I probably wouldn't have him as a goat. Hold on, hold okay. on, hold on, hold on, hold on. What? 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 You have Will Chamberlain. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. So why do you have Will Chamberlain so high? Lost me, bro. We've gone through Will Chamberlain. Have... Let's, let's stick to Yeah, uh, he's like 2K numbers and all that program. Yeah. Why do you we, we take a break from his list, bro? Can we take a break from his list and talk nah, about another Patrick, one? Patrick, Patrick. I'm going to lose my mind, bro. AR Clay. Why y'all just keep complaining and not really trying to argue? Like, I don't know. Can like you get, so just so everyone can be Because the, the give, rationale is not, the there's no real rationale. Right 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 what are you talking yeah. about? The rationale doesn't make sense. And y'all just, just complain. Y'all just, y'all just complain and go, no, 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 no. What, he has no good rationale. If, listen, if, if Patrick Ewing had started at point guard, if Patrick Ewing had started at point guard for his career, I could at I could at the same time say, "Oh wow, he looks like he would have been a great center." Too bad he played point guard for thirteen years and was a shitty point guard. So how, how, so how come you don't how come you don't how come you don't dock Chamberlain for being misused the first four years? Mm, like that's okay. I like that point. I like. That. Mm. I mean, if, uh, because we're talking. I mean, because we're we're talking fifty points a game in this game. There's a little bit of a difference. He's, he's, he's a stat. Once win. again, I don't factor. I don't factor I team winning. But when just, he wins, you just wait, use wait, 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 I was inefficient. But like also, yeah, as the last, as the as the last little thing. Yeah, that's the last little thing I tossed in because I know that most Allen Iverson so fans are tend hey, not to be great at math. But Patrick, when don't Will wins, win. you only bring up Will. Yeah, but math is all you get. You don't bring up Billy Cunningham. <laughs> it's only Will when he wins. You never bring up the team at all when he wins. You you haven't done that that's once true. this entire time. Not once. And then oh, when you bring right. up Iverson, that's when you want to use winning? Like, come on. That doesn't make um, any sense. That's winning game. bias. Did you not? Okay, I brought up 10 things. I brought up the fact that he played shooting guard and shot 39% and, and could not play defense. Okay. And okay, six but, feet. Uh, 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 he shot 39% with that. no other offensive players by him. What this Name the, the players other, that Allen Iverson had offensively. No, 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 no. This name this name the other players that Allen Iverson had offensively. Name the name the offensive well, players. He, he ran Jerry Stackhouse out of he ran every offensive player out. And you don't even understand it's a double-edged sword. Uh, I, I, like, na name them. Na name them. You if he had a, a a better offensive team, he wouldn't be taking thirty shots a game. He wouldn't be the Allen Iverson that that you love. That's why I disagree with you. That's why I think he he they maximize. And if his team if his team wasn't around built him. around defense to allow Iverson to score thirty games, they wouldn't have made the finals. They made the finals because he had uh, he had the setup uh, for the rest of the team to play defense. If so the rest of the team was offensive, he wouldn't be the offensive force you think he is. Right, so you're not, are you docking yes. him or are you giving him credit for that? Well, he, he wouldn't be an offensive force. He would have been space the same offensive force. Offensive. He just wouldn't have the same amount of shots. He, the talent would still would be there. He still would be effective exactly. getting to the rim. He still would have you wouldn't, re you you wouldn't remember him. You, have the like you wouldn't remember him as the 30-point guy who took a team to the final. It's the like, same thing. Sir, it's the same thing we do. We could do that with Chamberlain. If Chamberlain had better team in the first four years, he would have averaged 50. You would remember in the same way. There we go. Mm. Why? Why does it not Thank get free, man? Thank you. Keep the same energy. Yep. There you Back. go. Your cook, the the now, can we talk over. about something? So your logic, hold on, hold on. Your, your logic well, is just, just about stats, huh? Six, six people running stats? around in circles, and that equals me being cooked. Because there are like oh, six people. Hey, hey, you can just talk to players choice. Yes, you're wow. cooked. Right, you can do so too. I asked you the two questions. Why did why are why did you give Chamberlain the pass for averaging fifty while being less efficient when he was because you said he got more efficient later on in his career when he got his teammates. You don't dock him for that, but you dock Allen Iverson for that. How is that a pa first off I'm i I'm looking at Will Chamberlain is a far superior Center than than Allen Iverson was a shooting guard. The 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 you're because you're trying to put words in my mouth. You're using this give him a pass. I'm not giving anyone a pass. I'm looking at people's skill set and how it was utilized. 
Okay, and if you think that right. Will Chamberlain so was some bust, like you don't understand history. No, Will Chamberlain is AI. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Stop doing that. Yeah, he's not the best I want to get this off. My brain hurts. He's one of the best shooting guards to ever play, and that's a fact. You don't have a bad shooting guard. Yes, he is. So you, you think it's a winning formula to have, yo, to I have heard, Allen Iverson I heard, as your shooting guard? I heard Pirate is cooking, y'all, bro. Oh, what, what's going on? Who you heard it from? This logic, yeah, it's over. He didn't the get chat. he didn't give them energy for Will, but he wanted to say I like this. It's over. Oh, hold, on, hold, on, hold, on, hold on, let me speak on Will. So, let me speak on so, Will. Can so, I speak on Will? All you guys you actually guys, watched guys Allen Iverson's career, right? But even when Will was scoring, he was still the second best defender in the league. It's like he was still providing value in other things. Like Allen Iverson, his shot, shot chucking. Other than that, he wasn't he wasn't playmaking to the level that Pirates said he should have been because he was misutilized. And then defensively, he was egregious. Will Chamberlain was still at least rebounding and playing defense, so that's why it's not the same thing. You guys are comparing mm. apples to oranges and then asking why they don't taste the same. Like, it doesn't make sense. Respect. <laughs> Respect. Oh God, he's not there. Bro. He's, he's using. Even if he's not passing the ball. He's you, yo, his rationale is all over the place. Right, his rationale is wrong. Yeah, his, his logic is all over no, no, the place. No, no, this it's is not... what he's, no, no, this is what he's saying, right? And I actually hear it. He's saying the basic build of a shooting guard is not appropriate when it comes to Allen Iverson. So then he's looking at what else that Allen Iverson is providing, and the only thing he's providing that's on a great level is scoring. And when you keep bringing up Will Chamberlain, well, his build for a center is amazing. He's a good rebounder. He's a good rib protector. He's a good scorer. So he's not going to look at those two the same at all because he fits the mold. Duh. But we look, know they're, uh, they're uh, anomalies. The two things. Just asking What's that? to give them the same energy. Oh, okay. Here's the same energy. The two basic attributes that I think are most valuable in a basketball player uh, if, to be as simple as possible are defense and efficient scoring. Both of which Allen hmm. Iverson is horrible at. That's so is Will Westbrook. Chamberlain good at those two things? Is Will Chamberlain good at those two things? Is Will Chamberlain good at defense and efficient scoring? Yeah. Is Allen Iverson? Yeah. Yeah. Have have uh, not in the playoffs. Mm. Mm. Will, Chamberlain Will Chamberlain was still efficient. In the okay, as he as was extremely efficient. List, I'll be happy. Well, no, not Will Chamberlain well, actually had more still, rebounds in the playoffs than he did in the regular oh. season. This is the KD. This is the KD text that people be doing. Just because he drops, it's not like he's not efficient, like crazy efficient compared to. No, and Doug, 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 Doug,
Nah, he bugging. He nigga is a no. No, 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 no. I don't yeah, care about none of that, nigga. Let's chat the truth. The nigga is a seven foot. The nigga is a seven foot Russell Westbrook. Everything, everything that nigga, everything he does is selfish. He does nothing. He does three the hard way, bro. This is crazy. He does nothing for the betterment of the team. He's a selfish, overrated player. Hey, hey, about hey, everybody, everybody, everybody who actually watched uh, uh, AI exactly the Lakers about. wearing an AI jersey, raise their hand. Wait, pardon? Everybody who actually watched uh, AI play the Lakers in the finals wearing an AI jersey, raise their hand. I didn't have a jersey, but I, I didn't have a jersey, spirit. but I watched. It. I, I was the everybody. Person. Everybody who paid money to see Aver uh, uh, Allen Iverson play, raise their hand. Experience bias, do it. Experience bias. Pull it, pull it. Nah, pull the card, pull the card. I ordered. Pull the card. I ordered. Did you pay for? Did you pay for? I'm forty-four years old. Sixty. So you watch Wilt? You watch Wilt? I actually did watch a lot of Wilt. Yeah, because no, 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 lies. Oh no! I watched him a lot more than you have. I can tell. I watched him a lot more than you have. I can tell. Did you watch yeah. him live? Yeah. Did you watch him live? Did you watch the 1968 playoffs? No, y'all not playing? hearing him. Y'all nah, not dog, hearing. Nah, no, oh, no, 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 nah, no, 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 no. What's hilarious? Guys, you guys are being nasty. He's saying that he is a guy that supported and advocated for Allen Iverson, going to his games, way, uh, having his jersey, and he's saying that even despite or how he feels personally towards AI, he's still willing to have a realistic opinion about him. That's I don't point like talking about. Right. That's no, exactly. No, yeah. I don't, think he's no, I don't like James Harden. Well, I, no, I, 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 I like no, Allen Iverson a hundred times more than I like Harden. He's taking no. away a lot of context. Is really from to have outside of the top one hundred. Need to make that adjustment. And he's ignoring like, a lot of failures. Ray, Ray, you, Ray, Ray, you got to remember his top one hundred isn't necessarily the one hundred best. That's where we have the disconnect. Even ten, though. What he's really saying is AI isn't a top ten shooting. Even ten. I disagree. Yeah, we disagree. Even ten. I disagree with that, but you're hopping on the top 100. Like, he's really saying AI is in a top 10 shooting guard. So now, here's what you would do you would ask him for the shooting guards he has over AI, and then you would ask him why he has them over AI. He's going to tell you something of the sort of prototype of a shooting guard, <laughs> learning how to be able to play crazy. Floor, being able to play without the basketball to a high level, being able to defend your position and having hey. as a size to play that position, Allen Iverson is going to fall far down that list. That's why he hasn't quite low. You guys are just arguing about the numbers and not understanding why he views things the way he does. And that's why no one's finding any common ground. And that's why it's just a yelling match right now. And hey, since, 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 since y'all... I don't think y'all carry me. Since, since y'all think everything is uh, 2K logic, uh, please tell me everybody <laughs> who's... Please tell me everybody who spent a hundred dollars making a, a six foot tall shooting guard that can't play defense in two. Here's your fucking ass. Oh I did it. I did it. Oh, 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 Adds no, okay. He's adding no context to anything yeah, he's saying. Yeah, he's talking about he he has added Mar no context Mar to Dub, anything. Mara Stubb, are you hearing any context in what I'm saying here? Like, I, I, I mean, I'm because I do a thing that a lot of people don't understand. It's called listening to understand instead of listening Thanks. to reply. So what, what you do is you listen to what he's saying, you hear his values, and you understand how that applies to AI and why AI would probably be lower on his list than yours. If you're looking at it from a talent perspective, let me go pirate. From a pure yeah. talent perspective, regardless of positional roles and everything mm -hmm. else, just how talented you are, is there 10 shooting guards more talented than AI, in your opinion? Uh, in raw basketball talent, uh, probably not. No. Okay. In raw basketball no. talent. Now, if no. I ask most people here who have AI as a top 10 shooting guard, that's how they view it. The most talented shooting guards to play. That's you guys would true, agree man. with that, but the way he's valuing it. Would, why would hey, you make it with another talented uh, shooting okay, guard? Okay, okay, okay. Name, name, can, I just want to hear the shooting guards at this point. Yeah, yeah, yeah please, please, please. There you go, please. Parrot. Yeah. Give, give them the shooting guards you have. Just the shooting guards. This is smart, man. OD. Y'all mad.
Whoever said that has got their six foot tall, no defense uh, character in 2K. Uh, right? That's great. Oh no, that's a garbage point. Can I get That's a garbage point. That was amazing. No, that's crap. That was terrible. That was terrible. Okay. First, a little caveat. I don't know how much basketball y'all watch. It, I, I can't man, tell by, by this conversation. Man, but uh, a few basic skills with shooting guard. Off-ball off skills, the ability to shoot, the ability to defend the wing, uh, the, the ability to cut and get open. All right, so we got Michael Jordan, number one. Um, Kobe, number two. George Gervin, number three. Mm. <laughs> uh, Wade, um, Harden. Unfortunately, I don't like Harden. It is what it is. Clyde, Dre Clyde Drexler. Whatever you think you've seen of him, I don't really care. Um, uh, Ray Allen. What the fuck? Are we Sydney, Sydney, Sydney Moncrief. Okay, if you don't think Ray Allen's a better shooting guard than Allen Iverson, I really don't know. Using your logic, though, you know, you know, your logic, though, know, when know. you were talking about efficiency with Harden, well, I mean, let when let you were talking about let efficiency let with let Allen Iverson, finish, finish, why is Harden? Finish. No, guys, let, let him finish. Guys, let him finish. Finish. All right, bet. I'll, I'll ask you after. I thought I'll he was wait, Byron, I thought you were finished. Or were you finished? No, we we got more shooting guards. Nah, you know, you got there's that. a lot oh, more. Okay. Wait till wait till oh, we get yeah. to Rip Hamlin. Wait till we get to Rip Hamlin. Get the fuck yeah. up, bro. <laughs> I mean, uh, like we can we can cut to the chase, and I'll say any above average shooting no, guard. No, I would no, rather no, have. No, no. We want to hear the names. Then why do you want James yeah, Harden? We need the names. We need the names. Why do I want James Harden? You seem like you seem like. No. You seem like you. Joel, 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 finish your names first, Joel. He can, Joel, oh, okay, yeah. Names. Give us the three more names. Give us the three more names so we can cook all of them. He can shoot. I don't know. You mean so that he could cook all y'all? Call me crazy. Call me crazy. I always thought shooting was a valuable skill and shooting guard. Is Devin Booker better? Just finish the shooting guards real quick. Is that uh, we're Ray, Ray Allen. Allen. Uh, yes, we just we just went to Sydney. Moncrief. All, right, all right, next is Sydney Moncrief. I know you guys don't have anything to say That's about Sydney name. Moncrief, so That's he's gone. <laughs> uh, Pistol Pete. <laughs> fuck out, fuck out of here. Fuck. Nah, that's no, not laughable, man. <laughs> that's not laughable. Pistol Pete was a dog. Okay. What was that? Okay. What was that? One more, one more. Okay. Um, Sydney Moncrief, Pistol Pete, uh, Reggie, Reggie, Reggie Miller, <laughs> Reggie Miller. <laughs> well, Reggie Reggie Miller. Miller. Oh yeah, that's uh, uh, who would ever want Reggie Miller as their shooting guard. <laughs> So Reggie Miller oh, is in your top one hundred, yes. Reggie Miller is in your top one hundred. Who? Reggie Miller is in your top one hundred, yes. I just said Reggie Miller. Well, I have a lot of defense bullshit he was talking about earlier, but but James Harden and Reggie Miller are up this high. The nastiness to let this dude. This is this is crazy. This is this guy cook y'all. This is the this is the Mars of 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 the is Allen Houston better? Son said Lou Hudson? Yeah, absolutely. Right. Allen Houston said, better than like, Allen Basically, Houston. there there are 20 more names that I won't give you that are are Allen Iverson was not a good shooting guard. That's the hey, basic point. Hey, can I ask Pirate a few questions real quick, fellas? Was Coutinho right. Mobley better? Uh, oh, Pirate, Pirate. So so you said that AI was misused in his career, right? Yes. So probably one of the most guy, misused players in the history of the NBA. A guy, a guy that was misused to win a league MVP, to lead a team to a finals, to to get four scoring titles. You don't give credit for a guy being able to overcome the odds because if you're saying he's misused, then you're saying 
Accolades, no, boy. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Nah, you bro, said he was. Nah, hold on. Nah. Send him to hell, man. Nah, you said nah, this was getting back. back is, right you here. said he was missed. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on fellas. Bro. You said oh, yeah, he was let, misused. Let Wisdom get this off. Yeah. So that's out of his control, right? If he's being misused, right? Yeah. So he's able to overcome being misused, and you still dock him for that? I don't understand. I don't know why you're saying. Look, listen. I think I think Bill uh, Bill Walton would have been one of the greatest centers of all time had he been healthy. He was not healthy. I it's factor in argument. actual reality. Yeah, I'm looking at Allen Iverson. What are you? Yeah, that's a different actual, circumstance. I'm, look, I'm looking what at Allen Iverson's actual NBA career. Okay. His actual what he did on all the minutes that he played in an NBA jersey. Yeah, Adam Houston is still yeah. better than him. As the main scoring threat on his team with limited offensive options, so the defense. The, hey, are you aware? On that white, hold up. On that whiteboard. On, on that whiteboard, the teams was like, <laughs> "We stopping AI tonight." Crazy. And are you every aware? Night he had to overcome that, being the main threat in coverage for defense every night. Have a are, you, tough your, shots. are you I'll aware that? Are you aware Adderall, that on that finals team? Allen yeah. Iverson had the lowest effective field goal percentage of no every way. play okay. on no the team. Way. Tell me why. Is it because he's not a good shooting guard, or is it because he's having to overcome so much defensive attention? It's because of volume, obviously, but okay. You, you it's because of volume, that. and if you have – okay, let, let's break it down. Like, is that a winning formula? Is is that a winning formula to have the player on your team that has the lowest effective field goal percentage take by far the most shots? The yeah, whole was formula was, was terrible. In. He was he the only Eastern Conference on the team. Yes, the whole, so the whole entire build of that team was terrible. When you're the only offensive option on your team, your efficiency is not going to look good whatsoever. But you don't mention that at all. I haven't heard you mention that one time. Can I ask you guys? I very, don't. Very I don't hear you guys applying that same logic to every other player. Why? Why isn't that no, same no, no, apply to Will? Do. You love bashing Will. Why don't you turn it around? See, this is such a fourth grade tactic that I really see on on uh, Player's Choice a lot. Mm. It, it, it's where you, it's where you criticize the polar opposite of your argument as being illogical, not understanding that any inconsistencies in the polar opposite of your your argument most likely apply to your argument as well. Can I can I please yeah, tell you your inconsistencies real quick? Hold on, hold on real quick, context. Mm, this whole time hard. you've been talking about Will's playoff success and what he's done to transfer. No, I haven't. No, you you said three times what he averaged in the finals. What are you talking about? In you said playoffs. that like three in or four the, times. In the, in the playoffs. In, in the playoffs in the finals, you you told me his records, how many rebounds he had, and how that's why you hold him up so high. Blah 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 blah. But how you're gonna have people like James Harden? <laughs> Who averaged thirty percent from three in multiple playoff series over Allen Iverson? You're talking about you're literally talking about inefficiency in all of these players that you named over him when they get to the playoffs. So, are you holding regular season more high than the playoffs? I, I just want to know. Do you hold it different for different? You picked the wrong person to fight with. I think I think you need to familiarize yourself with exactly how deep Allen Iverson's inefficiency ran. I, I really you keep comparing. You keep comparing it to like that man. Yeah, that's you. Okay. Okay. Now oh, it's that. Okay. Uh, what uh, aspect uh, of basketball bad. would you like? Uh, to you talk gotta go. Like, you gotta go off that one, bro. Uh, uh, you're gone. You're gone. You're gone. Yeah. Yeah. What you know, aspect? You what exactly okay. can you talk okay. about? I got a question. Hold on, Paris. So I'm cool with the Harden. So what? What do you exactly have, Allen Harris? Because I heard like Ali. One hundred. What deal? One hundred. I want. I want to hear that. Last time. Last I heard, it was like twenty-seven. You got I, I, I don't understand the disconnect because I, I believe Mars explained it very well. No, I just got here. So, I just got here. So I want to hear you. What are we talking you, about, Mars? You guys are talking about – it's yeah. you guys are talking about Allen Iverson's raw ability, which I believe he was – Extremely talented at a lot of skills. I watched, that make you gotta ask you that. I watched him. Okay. I grew up around that time. I had to sleep my first favorite player of basketball. So I know a lot about AI. Okay. So I believe the disparity in Allen Iverson mm -hmm. between his actual basketball ability mm -hmm. and his performance on an NBA court okay. is one of the wider disparities that's existing. Mm -hmm. Right. And so I, I, and I if you just. 
And I understand that you're knocking him for his inefficiencies and his but, you but, you're, not giving, but you're not giving him credit from no one in the top ten is not, inefficient. No, wait, wait, no. Like you're not giving wait, him credit. Nobody in the top hundred, Mark. Let me talk, Mark. No, 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 if he was in, you're not getting an offense. It's starting to annoy me because none of them are as inefficient. Wait, you're not. Nobody's inefficient as them, but they still are inefficient. You're not giving Allen Iverson credit for the air that he played. He played on the greatest defensive era with his size that he has, and he still was a dominant force at his position, even though he was a guard in a point guard body. Badger, he was undersized and one of the greatest defensive eras and one of the two guards. Not the the greatest defensive era. And what? No, I don't tell. And you had Duncan, you had old big guys during that era. He still was a dominant force and to lead a team to the finals and to keep that 76ers team competitive is astonishing to say. And to win. It wasn't a winning formula. It won. It It got him to the finals. Hey, no, 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 wait, hold on, wait, contact. The point that I'm saying, you're because knocking Allen Iverson for something, but you're not giving contact to his era when you seen guys, even when Kobe shot inefficiently during Thank that same you. era of time because okay. of the great defensive era that it was. You, you can't tell me 27 it, people. Now, look, I agree, Harden is better. I agree that I give you hard, but you're not going to say hell no. I'm not giving you fucking hard. I'm Iverson. not giving you Ray Allen. I'm not okay, giving you number one. Reggie you know. Miller. That's what we said. I'm not said giving you none of them people. Two. Number one. Number one. Let Pyro go. Let Pyro go. I, I think Barzas said. Am I crazy? I just said 27 is crazy. crazy. Whenever I mention playoffs or playoffs performance, it's winning bias. But then everybody else is is using Allen Iverson taking a team to the finals as, as a, a huge because you said it wasn't a winning formula. Okay, if if his talent, okay, I I will. I'll go off it exactly. Uh, I'll try to address what you just said. If Allen Iverson's pure talent was so good that he took this horrible team to the finals, why did it? (laughs) Okay, okay. Why did it only happen once? Oh, because I can I can definitely oh! explain why. I can definitely no, explain no, why. Dog, his career, no, his career no, throughout no, that whole entire time. No, guy is trolling. Really, just I, tell me a very good offensive fed that they want to go further. No, first of all, no, hold on, wait. That's, that's, that's what I, I want to know. Best can I I so nobody, so nobody's gonna answer the question, huh? They can't even answer the question. There's twelve of you. Nobody's gonna answer it. Offense. Yeah, no offense. What are we talking about? What are we talking about? If someone, if someone says it's a winning formula. Jewel and it only and it only won one time. Be quiet. Let let SB let SB go, and, and then I won't. Then I won't. Pyro. Me and Pyro won. Mars. Let SB go, and then me and Pyro won. Hey, now Pyro, I can ask. You. I'm not. I'm not involved in this cooking six. In this six pack. We watched this era during this time. It is overlooked and overhyped that they saying how bad this team is because. Offensively, yes, they were bad, but they were still one of the best defensive teams. And the reason why they got to that point because they was great defensively. And that's so why did we give AI all the credit? Why don't no, we say I that was a great AI defensive no team? You we give him an offensive credit. You, you going off with everybody else, you hear what I said. Uh, I said so if the offense was so good, how come he couldn't perform no, in the playoffs other than that? Why they got to that point? <laughs> Alex Anderson was great offense. Was it not? I mean, in the playoffs, he was consistently dropping 30 in the playoffs. Let me talk. Y'all talking me. Let me talk, bro. Y'all been talking to y'all, y'all been getting cooked because y'all not nah, really nah, nah, I just hopped yes, on. Y'all have been. Yes, y'all have been. Let us be go. Pirate. You making it worse by making it say all that dumb shit. Was it or not because of the 76 defense why they got that correct or not, right? There, it was a uh, great defensive team. The, was, was the, the, the lion, the chair was because it that point no, 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 the defense. Argument. Man, just answer the question. That's my point. You bringing what they argue to what we mean? No, I'm arguing because you said it's 27 <laughs> shooting guards better than Allen Iverson. That's my problem coming. That's what I said. Drop the link if you Because it's not you can't name twenty seven shoot guards better than Allen Iverson. That's I, get right. I want to argue Reggie Miller. Or, when was or, or, Allen or Houston, Houston ever a franchise carrier? Yeah, I'm lost with the Allen Houston joint. Allen, when was Allen, Allen Houston, Houston ever Allen the number Allen. one franchise See, right, carrier? You're calling him a franchise carrier instead of saying that was a great defensive team. Why? That's what, they, and that's the truth. They well, the, AI they was, was the franchise carrier. Team. What you talking about? Then why didn't he carry them more than that one year? Because he had no, bro. Oh what? my god! Am I, oh, am I oh, mute? Can oh, I hear you? All right, all right, all right. Everybody, be quiet. Hold on. SB, are you done? Bro, it was their defense. Why they got there, bro? Why do y'all not understand yeah. it? No, I I agree with no, you. Man, Everybody else is saying other shit. 
Yo, that that's that's why y'all losing, bro. Y'all arguing the point. Yes, AI did, did the good on the alliance bro, share. Bro, the you other it's people really points. No one's saying that shit. Bro. And that, that team is, as much as y'all never said that the defense didn't work, work as being. Nobody said any of this shit. I don't get what it is. I don't get what it is. Be talking about, bro. No, you got you got to put your hand down on this. Y'all arguing the point that AI carry, and that's not necessary. SB, no one said this shit. He's arguing with other people's point. SB, no, he's arguing other people's point. If he did he's arguing the, the main team. things that people say about what, Allen was, AI, was the Philadelphia was AI on a, was his team construct a winning formula? Yes or no? No, hell no. Around no, Allen June, Iverson, June yes. said no. no. June said no. Wisdom was Allen Iverson on Philly a winning formula? Nah, they weren't good enough. No. Okay. Okay. Context was it a winning formula? No. Okay. Ray Ray was it a winning formula? No. Okay. SB was it a winning formula? No, the offense. Okay, no. Mac, was it a winning formula? For the teammates he had, no. Exactly. But okay. yes, Nobody it is a winning you. formula yeah. for That's other players. That. Okay, what? okay, wait. KB, KB, I don't know if you're with us. You seem to be zoned out. Was Allen Iverson on Philly a winning formula? <laughs> Okay, he doesn't know. Okay, this there dude we go. Zoned we, out. We, have, we have basically a unanimous agreement that no, it was not a winning formula. Now, because it didn't me, work. Bro, okay. Let me go. Let me give go, me bro. a situation. For Allen Iverson, where he would be Allen Iverson at the two guard position, that would be a winning formula. Give me the Bulls. Team. Take oh, Mike, man. take MJ off the Bulls and put and put Allen Iverson and let Allen oh. Iverson shoot oh. and go for thirty no. points a game no. while he has Scotty, while he has the number one defense, Scotty Pippen guarding everything, taking taking care of the ball and facilitating the offense. Yes, that Not will in work. That triangle, that, man. Okay, wait, wait, okay, stop okay. it. Okay, Matt, Matt, only Matt, asking... Matt said the Bulls. Max said the Bulls. Does anyone here agree with him? No. Can I give, I can I give you a name? Can Stupid. I give you uh, the Buck, the Bucks, the Bucks with the Ray Allen O one Bucks that team? No, no, no. The Bucks. Hell no. Bucks. Yeah. Yeah. Bucks no, no, bro. Oh, like, you gotta yeah. have bro. Giannis next to him for the, the team. No, the team that I would say is Dan Tony, Dan Tony, and the Rockets. Mars, wait, wait, wait. Because I understand the question, Mars. You saying the formula? Wait, take Giannis off. Hold on, wait. Context, wait. Context. The formula, the question that you asked is, you take. Well, shit. You gonna put AI with MJ, Scottie Pippen in them? What the fuck? They're gonna win. No, he gotta take away. First of all, he said take away shooting guard. No, he said take away the best shooting guard. My, my. My question was, what situation do you put Allen oh. Iverson in where he would still guy. be okay. Allen Iverson, the player Take out Harden. right now? Where would he be? Allen Iverson, and it would be a winning formula. What Take out mean? Harden with D'Antoni oh. and put AI with all that I elite spacing. Hold on, hold on, hold on, Mars. I, mis I misunderstood the question. Hold on, I misunderstood the question. I thought you said take out a two guard. I thought you said take out a two guard. You mean you could put him on any team and he could still be AI? Yes, he could be AI. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me ask you this. 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 Why can't AI be on the Warriors? I was waiting for that. Hold up. I think to take out Steph. I think you'll be on the Warriors too. No, not you're not. Hold on. <laughs> he said put AI on, on any team. On any team. Don't take out nobody. The Warriors. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> well, first of all, hold, hold on. He asked the question. This is your problem. Y'all not listening. In your opinion, is Allen said, Iverson still Allen Iverson? You got to take the away the best guy too and let Allen Iverson play his game. Yeah, so I'm not. That's not what he said. Giannis is gone. That's what I'm saying. I'm on the Warriors. Steph Curry is gone. Not taking out Giannis. SB, that's not. Not taking out Giannis. Hold on, hold on. SB, Mars, Mars. For the umpteenth, hold on. For the umpteenth time, you said put Allen Iverson on any team where he can still be right. AI and yes. not I, take I, away I, any I, other star players. We're not taking away anybody, yeah. correct? You got to take away the best. I said Mars. I want to understand the question. I'm going to explain. If you believe Allen Iverson, take away no one on the team, can still be Allen Iverson, Thank you. don't take anyone away. But you're going to have to explain how Allen Iverson, next to these other people, would still be the Allen Iverson we're debating about right now. Not Allen Iverson with his game adjusted to he's going to be more efficient, blah, blah, blah. That Allen Iverson, we all see that same game. Put that in a different situation mm -hmm. and tell me which situation is a winning formula. That's two, two. I give you two teams. I give okay. you the two teams that I name. Number one, if we just put him on a team as is and take away nobody, and he could still be AI, it's the Warriors. Number one reason, Iverson is great off the ball. Them Iverson cuts and him backdooring people, pause. He will be great at. And then 
in tight situations, especially clutch time, you can always go to AI as far as isolation, Stop just like they did with Kevin Durant. That'd be a perfect situation. He could still be AI. If you want to put AI on another ch championship team where he can be Allen Iverson and you take away the best player, it would be the Bulls. Take away Jordan, thir uh, 33 points per game in the playoffs, and put Allen Iverson, 29 points per game in the playoffs for his career. He can still be Allen Iverson. He can still isolate. He can still have all the scoring. Why he has the greatest defense, one of the greatest defensive teams of all time uh, playing behind him. Not without Jordan. If you take I, out I, Jordan, I, that's not I, one of the greatest defenses with, of all time. Yeah. yeah. I, I I wouldn't take are you serious? With, so Rodman and, serious. So Rodman and Pippen and Harper. Are you serious? Rodman, Pippen, Harper, and Tony Kuko? I'm the wrong point. So I'm the wrong point. Go ahead, Mark. But go ahead. I just want to make – so just to clarify, the situations you gave me are two situations where you name me two of the five greatest teams of all time. I can give you some where it wasn't Those are the situations where AI is a winner. You, hey, you said, you, Mark, you Mark, said Mark, name them. I gave you two Mark. different situations. Hey. Yeah, you gave me two different situations. They just happen to be two of the five greatest teams of all time. Do you, you think didn't, You didn't give no context of which yeah, team. You said what, what team. Yes, that's, that's, a, why, that's, that's a vast and majority. As I clarify, and as I clarify. Mm -hmm. Okay, Yo, clarify. Me, you got on the ball. Go ahead. If we are saying that some of the... I don't know if it's the only ones. I want to hear from other people as well. So, Mac, I'm going to... Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, but you're saying that some of the only situations where AI is a winning formula is on some of the greatest teams to ever be assembled. No, there's not. Pirates point that there's many shooting guards who would fit in many other situations and be successful doesn't sound so crazy if the only ones we're coming up with is some of the greatest teams ever. Now, if someone can come up with a team that isn't all time great, Scotty Pippen, Dennis Rodman, all time great defense, which right. I don't even know. I got two. I got a squad. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Hey, go one at Look, a time, y'all. After this, I'm gonna step out. I'm gonna step out. So let me just get this off for uh, for Mars. So look, if you put oh. AI on mm -hmm. the 2017, 2018 Dan Tony Rockets, and you swap him out for James Harden with all that spacing with Dan Tony's offense, I believe AI will be a dominant player in the league, and they would be a winning team because. Mm. Remember, he could play off ball. He played with E. Snow, so imagine what he would have done with CP3. Yep. You feel what I'm saying? So I, I think mm -hmm. on that team, now I'm not sure if you if you um if you consider that team an all time great team. So I don't yeah, know if if, if I okay yeah yeah. So that's the one team. And then if they would have uh, won, they would have been an all time great team. But sadly, yeah. so then yeah. so yeah. then your your defensive backcourt is CP3 and Allen Iverson. They don't play. They won't play defense anyway. He wasn't so playing yet. Words. Yeah. So I like James Harden. That's not that's not, that, that, that team. Oh that team God. did play defense. That's not true. A big part of the reason why they're successful is their ability to be switchable with Steph. Now you have Allen Iverson. The, the tallest but player in your backcourt is six one. Yeah. So, but they still have switching. Like that wasn't. That was. Yeah. Allen Allen Iverson can't switch. But um, I think when we talk when we talk about this, if you think the 2018 Rockets would beat um the Golden State Warriors with Allen Iverson. That's a different conversation. If you think that's a winning formula, that's fine. That's one non all time great team we've got. Now, can I, can I go? We can get more because I believe Reggie Miller, we put him in a we put him in Golden State, it works. We put him on the Phoenix Suns, it works. Well, we you didn't say all the time, and I and I can understand. No, I'm gonna say all time. We just spoke point. about the, the Bulls from the 90s and the 2018 Rockets. Of course, it's all time. What are we talking about? I think I think if you put if I limited it to just AI's era, we're not gonna come up with any teams. Yes, we can. Yes, we can. We can. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I think you can put them down. <laughs> can, be the can we go? Can we go down? Can we have some sort of organization? Here? Right. I, I do want to hear the names of the teams that everyone says, so we can so just go down have the, the road. I, I got one. I got the Heat now. I got the the this Heat that admitted this final team. Uh, if we just add them to that team, I think they probably could have just beat the Nuggets there. Taking out you who? just add them to no, the you don't team take, no, the no, okay, because Mars asked two questions. He said, if you can just add them to any team without taking oh, somebody off, okay, okay, then okay. if you can add them to a team, right? If you can add them just to this team without taking anybody off, but I then we're creating, creating but then we're a super team. team. I'm not gonna lie, we're <laughs> creating <laughs> super no, team. No, but no, no, because Mars asks where with Tyler Hero out too, he will be himself. It doesn't, right. regard, yes. it, doesn't, it doesn't. It doesn't matter if he's playing with Mars, the superstar. Mars, do you want to clear? Do you want to clarify that where yeah, we got to take we, their best no, player no, out? I, I think this is fine. We can do it this way, but it seems that we're all in agreement that the only situations is when you build super teams, and I'm fine with that. 
but I think that also helps Pirates point that the Alan Iverson is Jimmy Marlon AI team. Marlon situation that not take I'm not mad. I'm not mad. AI not Jimmy mad and Bam is a super team. Yeah, I'm, yeah. If, they, if they make oh, it, right. it super <laughs> team, hold on. What about yeah. this team in his own air? What about this team in his own air? Which team? take out take out uh Rip Hamilton and put Iverson on the 04 05 Pistons. They not winning. Do you, okay, okay. Do, you, do you think Allen Iverson is Allen Iverson on that team? Yes. No. Chauncey. Nah. Bill, yes. Chauncey Billups. No, yes. He first of all, he's in a uh, better. He's in a better offensive. Si- he's gonna be in a better he's offensive crazy. system. He's gonna get up his shots, and it ain't gonna freaking Ooh. matter because he's got an all-time great defense behind him. Thank With you Rashid. in that offense, bro. Chauncey not taking all that AI. High usage dribbling the ball out there, bullshit. Man. You know what? No, no. That, no. How rip? How Iverson? Y'all. Chauncey not Eric. Why are we acting like Allen Iverson isn't? Why are we acting like Allen Iverson isn't great off the ball? Right. Like he can't. No, like he can't shoot off the screens. Like he can't cut. What are we talking about? The shooting is played like that, bro. Yes, yes, he, he has. Like the, 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 the whole game. Al- if we're, if we're talking about the Detroit Pistons, we complained about Allen Iverson having no spacing in Philadelphia. He ain't going to tell me about <laughs> tell me about the 04 Pistons spacing. Exactly. Okay, Chauncey, Chauncey is, can be at, at the Chauncey, top of the key and around the three point line. Um, Rasheed Wallace is mid is mid range post area and three point line. He's mm-hmm. gonna have spacing with Tayshawn with Tayshawn Prince. And if you got too. Ben Wallace uh pick and rolling with Allen Iverson going downhill for lot, yes, that works. What are we Thank talking you. about? Tayshawn Ta- 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 Prince. Prince. Off. Yeah, his, I'm not taking Tayshawn. First of all, I took Rip Hamilton off. Yeah, you took you took Rip Hamilton off. Tayshawn Prince is what made it work. Rip Hamilton made it work. Rasheed 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 Wallace was the best offensive player on the Pistons. I think no, no, Mars, Mars, Mars. You have to admit, spacing where AI dealing with spacing like that is better than the spacing he was dealing with on the. Yes, it works. I think the spacing in Detroit is. I think I think I'm not arguing that spacing isn't better. I'm saying if the issue with AI is spacing. And D- Detroit didn't have elite. That wasn't the themselves. only issue, though. Hey, no. hey Mark. Hold on, wait. Oh, oh, hold on, wait. Hey, I had no my, my two operate. teams, I think, I, I think it's two teams situation mm-hmm. that it, it could actually work with AI being AI. Okay. One of them is a funny one, and one is a serious one. The funny one is the Bill Russell Celtics, where they defense. <laughs> I knew you were going to say that. Area. Area. <laughs> yeah, I was uh, waiting for bro, someone no, to bring up that. I'm going to say that. No, I'm going to say that. I'm going to say that. No, wait. Seriously. I'll be caught for carrying. That's all they're missing. That's all they're missing. My serious answer. My serious answer. Though I believe around like 2014, 2015, that Spurs team when they ran through Tony Parker, you put AI in that position and let him score in with the, with mm. Kawhi and those other great defenders around him where they can run that pick and roll and let AI score and play yeah. that. Point guard. Well, according that's to Mars, that's 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 point. Point. I think yeah, point point. But AI, you do I realize that I would have loved to see AI on the Spurs instead of Tony. Yeah, or, as a point guard. I think, yeah. I think that's like yeah. a really easy situation where it's like you can have him as a point guard. Yeah, he can but have you do realize like AI is not going to be the same player. No, no, but he was no. But listen, hold on, wait. He will be the same. He will be the same player because they depending on Tony Parker kind of a scorer. I think. Popovich put him in better situation to be more efficient mm-hmm. scorer, but I think they're gonna run that half pick and roll. They gonna get on the ball, off ball, put him in position to I score, and then you can have him defensively because you got a young well, guy. AI is not gonna probable. be this. AI is not gonna be this guy who's gonna be dropping thirty point per game season playing well, like. That's what I was gonna ask you. Part of, I mean, one, one of the first things I said, said was he would have made a great twenty point. But what Mars's question, what Mars's question was, Allen Iverson. But Mars's question was Allen Iverson being Allen Iverson. He will be Allen Iverson. He's not gonna be Allen Iverson on that Spurs team. So wait, just because he's No, it's not even about that. It's about. The team concept of them sharing the rock, ball movement, him not just being the sole scorer of the team. He's not going to be being this guy that we're used to. He's not. No, now, our team is going to work for one they, person is the sole scorer. You guys are, scorer, you guys are all, whether, it's, whether it's subconsciously or consciously, you guys are all, have, you are all indirectly saying AI would have to change his game to win. Yes, that's no, no, I didn't. No, I didn't. I'm not saying that. Mac is not. Mac, I will say Mac is not. Mac is saying AI. Put him in the triangle, he would do Michael Jordan's role. He's saying that. I just wholeheartedly disagree. But he's the saying nigga average 29 other, in his yeah, playoff career. Not, still, not, I'm, yes. not, I'm not arguing because you are not doing what I'm saying other people are doing. Um, Everyone else is indirectly saying AI would have to change the way he plays. To nah. Bob. And but that Mark, would that's why mean he's that's, no longer Allen Iverson. Yeah. And AI Iverson ain't never changed his game for nobody. Allen Iverson game was point. different and different. That's why I said win. We're no going for hypothetical where what he really was. Wasn't conducive to winning by you guys' own admission. 
Pirate not having him as a top 10 shooting guard I, I, would I, make I, sense. Now, let, me, let, me, let me debate <laughs> Pirate on that. I have a question. Yo, Mark, let, how, let me debate Mark, Pirate on that, because that's horrible. Was Allen Robinson game different with the different conclusion? No. How did how did I think Allen Iverson operated more on the boo in Denver. Yeah, it wasn't it, it wasn't was much different. The only difference is they tried to make him a point guard, but the yeah, nigga yeah. was still yeah. averaging 26, changed, 27 my points. Question is, what do you guys consider as changed. AI changing his play style? Are you referring to the stats, the play style? Changing like, what his do you play style think? would be changing yes. his play style would be not taking 27 shots a game at 39 percent it would are be you, being more on ball and being more like a 20 and 10 point guard are and you hey, Mark, how, does, how, did, how does ray allen or reggie miller on that piston team sound Pirate, are you going to add context to that though he literally had to shoot those 20 shots it's not that he okay, was I, going, I, I, was I added context. context wait let me repeat the context let me repeat the exact context Hold on. Can, that I, was his can I repeat role. the exact context? Hold on, the hold on, exact wait. context is that on that team, he had the lowest efficiency of all 15 players. That's okay, how he is. You're, when you're shooting at a he volume maybe, higher than everyone else on your team. Yeah, so you so don't do on, that. Wait, hold on, let me so rebuttal. You don't do that. Hold on, hold on. Let me <laughs> rebuttal. Shots. Let me rebuttal, please. Hold on. <laughs> but your second best score averaged 12 points, and you have to because score. You, and you have to shoot twenty times a game. You oh, have to. is going to look different. Yeah. Like you, you literally can't tell okay. me because of his role on his team was the way that he was inefficient. That's why he was inefficient. It was literally his role on the team. You keep everybody on running. the team was more efficient than oh he was. My God. Maybe he has the ball. Why, why, why were they more efficient? Why were they yeah. more efficient? Yeah. Yeah. What was their role because their the shots went in the basket okay. more. Okay. Was it because they were better shooters? This is really like, I'm, 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 I'm not a part of this, Mars. I'm not a part of this. I'm not a part of this. This is the part of this. Hey, let me go one on one. I'm not a part of this team that puts the ball in the connection right here. This is this is G Mac with with good Wi Fi right here. This is what we're getting. I bet not be on. I bet I bet not be on the clip. Mars, oh, Mars, oh, oh. does he really not understand? Listen, there were 14 hey, other players right, on yeah, the team. Yeah, and they're only taking five fucking the most. Because he's players. taking all the shots at 39%. That someone oh, took man, on the team nasty. was probably go with seven to time. eight attempts on the team. You really can't, you you can't, can't tell me, oh, because he shot eight. And you be good. They're not really, better really? scorers. They're not better shooters. They literally shot less, and that's the only reason their efficient was better. You're asking one person to be the main. So offensive even it person. out. Even it out. Oh Have him God. take God. less God. shots God. to bring his efficiency up and pass it a little bit more to the 14 God. other guys. Let me get an ISO real quick. Let me get an Allen Allen Iverson ISO real quick with Pilot because this is horrible. I don't want to be on no uh no tick. TikTok clips with y'all, man. This is yeah, this you're going to all, all right. Out of the shout out to our gold members. Two... Hold on, give me one second. Shout out to no, our go gold ahead. members, Jeremiah, Jeremiah, Miss MR, Dorian Clayton, Alejandro Rodriguez, Terry, and IDWC, man. But Terry with two dads. Con continue, Terry with two dads. Facts. Oh, okay, so there's ten uh shooting guards that you have better than Allen Iverson, correct? I'd say there's probably more like 87, 88, but sure. Oh, okay. Out of those, out of those 87, out of those 87 and 88, name yeah. five better, better shooting guards than Allen Iverson. Name five better oh, scores. Name five better scores that are shooting guards than Allen Iverson. Uh, Michael Jordan. Do mm -hmm. we agree? Okay. Yes. Kobe Bryant. Do we agree? C correct. Okay, now I you haven't seen yeah, the, enough George the, the, Gervin uh -huh. to understand that he was yeah, a much yeah, better uh -huh. scorer than mm -hmm. yeah. George Gervin. No, yes. go continue. Dwayne Wade, but continue. Well, hold on. Let, let, let finish no, I don't agree. Continue. Well, okay, Dwayne Wade shoots fifty-two percent for his career. Uh -huh. I don't agree that he's a better scorer, but continue. Okay, that's fine. I mean, I, I guess just taking shots makes you a great scorer, right? All you know, as long as you go, go, shoot the ball, continue. you're a great scorer. That, that's, that's, that's four. That's four. That's four. We agree no, on two, but that's four. No. Go ahead. Uh, look, Clay Thompson. Okay, that's fine. Now, 
The reason I have Allen <laughs> Iverson that high as a scorer, as a shooting guard, number one, yes, we understand the scoring titles, but him averaging those 30 point per game seasons, multiple, what, four or five uh, seasons averaging 30, that is more than your George Gervin's. That's more than your Dwayne. That's not Gervin's. more than George Gervin. George how, Gervin. How many times? Has, I, think George Gervin has as many, I think George Gervin has <laughs> as many scoring titles as eight. So, yeah, yeah it's Gervin exactly the same, and they have the exact same score. They have the exact same scoring, and they have the exact same scoring titles. But, yeah, except George Gervin shot fifty five percent in the league cor- that cor- shot forty four percent. Correct. So the efficient. So again, you got the you got the efficiency scoring titles. They're about they're about the same, and I think thirty point per game seasons. They're ab- they're about the same. Now, when we go into points per game for a career, I think AI has them. When we go to points per game in a playoffs. AI has him, and he has Dwayne Wade as well, and any other shooting guard other than Michael Jordan and Kobe, who are literally top three all-time scorers. There are the only two shooting guards that's over Allen Iverson in those categories. Because, and Allen Iverson averages more points than Kobe in the playoffs all time. So because Allen Iverson five played scores, 42 minutes a game and took 27 shots a game. I'm not going to hate on Allen, anybody playing 42 minutes. 36? So so why why hold on why would you hate on somebody playing forty minutes in the playoffs? Do I don't. Not? I hate I hate on Must I hate on inefficient shooting. He was historically okay, inefficient. So, he was historically okay, so inefficient. Five score, so you could name arrow. five scores. Correct. Let's move on. So you could name really five scores that we agree on, except for Kobe. And I and I'll give you George Gervin uh, as well as number three, Dwayne Wade and Clay Thompson. Hell no. Not no. Jim Carter. Now. Now, we can argue. But let's just move what? on. Let's just move on. You tried. You tried with the five. Let's just move on. Wait, now, when he was with, when he was wait, with Philadelphia, stop, stop, stop. Who said James Harden is not a better scorer than AI? Who said? Who said that? Who disagreed? I got a. Oh. I got AI over uh Harden. That's me. Oh, what lie mm. you guys lost? I'm lie. taking AI yeah. too, bro. Oh, Y'all yeah. see the well, well, the, the, the reason I'm taking Allen Iverson over over James Harden as a scorer number number one James Harden when he averaged those 36 points per game 34 he took about 12 or 13 free throws while Allen Iverson was taking six to seven. So you can say, oh, oh, what, what does that mean? Oh, what is it? Hold on, let me tell you what it means. Let me tell you what. Let me tell you what it means. If you're, what are you talking about? If you're, hold on, Mars, Mars, hold on, time, time out. Mars, if you're taking, if you're taking thirteen free throws a game, I know he's lying. I know this guy's. I re, 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 I we're we're you talking about no first one spoke except for two people. This nigga said a lie. You like I never. No, no, I no, I didn't. We're uh, we're arguing yeah, James said, Harden. First of all, he couldn't name five better scores. Now we're arguing well, James Harden. Stop, 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 stop! I got you. I got you. I got you. MJ, Kobe, Dwayne Wade, James Harden, Jerry West. That's five right there, and the shooting guard who are better than AI. No, those those five players are much better. Scores. Yeah, sad They're much better scorers. Stop. Yeah, when the argument that you're making for AI is even they based are, on bro. No, I said one. Th- I said I one Cooper. thing, and in to say that Allen Iverson took more free throws than James Harden. No, he didn't. Nobody I wasn't done. That. Nobody, Nobody ever, ever said that. that. Oh, okay. You I'm lied. Saying, I am saying. I am you lied and said that. he took six free throws. He lied. Low, low, low. Can I? Can I finish? Can I finish? If you're going to lie, we're going to cut you off again. Low, low. Did James Harden take more free throw attempts than Allen Iverson? Uh, yes. Okay. Now, if I said James Harden, now I apologize if I lied and said James Harden takes 12 to 13 while Allen Iverson is taking 7 to 8. To me, that's a big gap. If Allen Iverson had some seasons where he averaged 10, okay. Multiple. Oh, oh, okay. But still. But still, James scoring Harden wise, James Harden, still, what, James nigga? Harden went to the free throw line. Now, I mean, I, as wait, far as now, as far as errors, as far as errors, who played in a tougher play. defensive, who played in a tougher defensive air where it was tougher to score, the two thousands or the twenty ten? Allen Iverson. 
that that's an, that's another reason why I'm taking them. Number three, and it's clear cut to everybody: playoff translation. In the right. playoffs, AI <laughs> superior score than James Harden. No, Point he's game. No, he's not. 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 we can move on. And how many shots, bro? How many shots? Holy smokes! Please don't talk Holy about the shots. I got you. Don't right. talk about the shots. Right. Okay, so I'm, I'm done. done. I'm done. Fifty shots to score right, thirty. Right. Still I don't understand. I don't understand. Y'all realize that Pirate is just saying things that are factually just incorrect. For example. You keep saying that that Allen Iverson was I haven't been involved in this combo, niggas. I know, I know, I know. I don't. Keep saying, I, Iverson is the least I efficient. Um, I'm trying to figure out 87 shooting guards better now. That's what I, I know. Saying. He's just. just be, no, he was joining you, on it too. No, 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 no. Wait, wait. Everyone, 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 everyone oh, wants to say they run to the game and learn. You know what? Nigga, I was not No, KB was quiet. KB was quiet. I'm still on the question. Hold up, Lo. Hold up, Lo. Y'all not just about to jump on Pyrie just because Lo is disagreeing with That's not what we're doing. You know what? Yeah, I got. I gotta go back there. We I gotta let y'all gotta let them handle this, man. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. uh, I got I got I got I got some uh, Utah Jazz to talk with Low, but go on, Low. Tell tell him how I'm lying. Oh, we're gonna get oh, to what, 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 what year were you referring to where he was like the least efficient player on the team? You said there's 15 players on his team that was more efficient. What year is that? Um, it was either the championship year or the year after. I mean, both of them, all of them, he was if not the worst, one of the worst. In 01, he was nowhere near close to being the, the worst efficient player on the season. So that's what I'm trying to figure out. Where are you getting that information from? Okay, Mr. Basketball Reference. Let me pull up Basketball Reference. Mm. Let's, have a, let's have a reference battle. Because even, <laughs> even if you look at... In 01, even, of all high-minute players, he was the third worst. He was the fifth worst overall. I'm looking at right now. Look at the next year. Okay. There we go. That's but that's why I'm asking you. That's what I'm trying to figure out which year you're even referring to. Okay, uh, when when they went to the, the championship, he was peaking. He carried that reputation and that 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 clout that he had built up to just continue to be a extreme ball hog for the next few years. So if you look at the the combination of pretty much even, all of those years of all high minute even, players even, in O two, he was the second worst. I might just say even 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 in O two, he's not nowhere near close. So where are you getting this information from? Low. Okay, let's say let's say he's the second worst, taking twenty seven shots a game. So is he's that not, good? He's not. Okay, so he's is not. that good? Yes or no? Is that good? No, it's not good, but he's not. Okay. Though. So he's not. So you're just arguing with semantics. No, I just want I just want to know because I thought he was talking about 01. and 01, he genuinely wasn't even close. I thought I was like, that's just you're just blatantly lying. Second, second of all, um, I'm floored also by this concept of like the level of like value that you have for efficiency, um, which is fine. Okay. So then I will have to ask you name your top 10 small forwards. Then. Uh, my top, my top 10 small forwards, KD is, is he efficient? Larry yeah. bird. Was he efficient? Is LeBron James efficient? Mm-hmm. All right, and uh, and while I name these names, let's uh, seriously compare it to Allen Iverson's efficiency. Okay, mm -hmm. LeBron mm -hmm. James, but we've Larry already established Bird. those three. Okay, all right, Doctor J. Dr. Okay, Kevin Garden, uh, Kevin Durant. Okay, Rick Barry. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, Elgin Baylor. Okay, John Havlicek. Okay. Dominique Wilkins. Okay. Scotty Pippen. Okay. Uh, Adrian Dantley. Okay. <laughs> Adrian Dantley is the definition of official. So if those are right, those are your five, Billy why, is, why is why is why is um Kawhi Leonard? Why is, why is Dwight? Well, not Dwight. Why is Dominique higher than um Dantley? Uh, because, uh, Dominique was, uh, I, I value his athleticism. I think he was much better defender. Okay. Do you not value athleticism? <laughs> like what? This is what, this is what Lowe always does. He asks you I'm uh, to give you your totality of how you value a player. And then he says, Oh, you value this. Why don't you value that? 
I just told I'm, you. I'm trying. I'm trying to you say, well, well, On both well, sides of the ball, on both sides of the ball, I consider Dominique. I'm, Dominique was in a, wasn't. He, Dominique was far from a defender. Also, Dominique was inefficient to his in, in contrast to his era. He was well, at the end of his career. His true shooting is below league average. So at the end of his. No, no, Asterix, for, 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 the, no, no, no for, the <laughs> for the totality of his career, his career average is lower than league average. Okay, well, compare his efficiency there are, there to Allen Iverson. Are, there are several, there's several years where he's below league average. So I'll ask the question again. Why is it that you have a player who's below league average in efficiency higher than someone else? Why? Because I value his athleticism and what that could translate at the three position compared to Adrian Dantley. I obviously have them ranked very closely because they're one after another. So there's not why is, a one. Why is he above Kawhi? Because if you miss the beginning, though, I value about 20% the best year, 20% the top three years, 20% the top seven years, 20% your whole career, and 20% my eye test, my personal evaluation, and intangibles that can't be measured. And so cool. I think Kawhi, I think Kawhi would be a better player if Kawhi had had a, a healthy, long enough oh, yeah. career. Which he did not. That's why I have Kawhi ranked lower. That's so fair. how many. But how many years of Dominique Wilkins are you even assessing? Because it's not like Dominique Wilkins has like I assess even, everybody I mean, all their career. I know, but when it comes to Dominique Wilkins, it'd be one thing if he had like 15 straight years of just like high level play. Dominique probably has like what, like eight, eight to ten, maybe. Yeah, and so if you do the math, sixty percent of my about sixty percent of my evaluation is within the top seven years, hmm. the top yeah, year, but, the top three years, the top seven years. Yeah, you just the, said if eight. The, if, the, if the top well, year. If the top year is Kawhi, the top three years is Kawhi. I would assume that I test would also be Kawhi as well, correct? The eye test is as far as pure talent and potential, yes. Okay, so if that's already 60%. Len Bias is a good basketball player, too. Too bad he fucking I died just, of cocaine before he I just, I just named I just I I I I I 60% of what you just referenced, though. You see what I'm saying? The you just said he year, had eight great years. No, nah, listen to what I'm saying. The top year, you said the top year is 20%. That would go to Kawhi. The top three years would also go to Kawhi. The eye test would also go to Kawhi. By your own standard, 60%. No, and the, and the, the intangibles are, I believe, Kawhi has had a much better situation in his career than Dominique Wilkins did. Well, so did Allen Iverson. Iverson. Iverson didn't have as good of a situation as a lot of other players, but you didn't give a fuck about that. Once a, no, once, ag once again, I think that is double talk by uh, people who want to hype AI. Because, like I said, one of the Iverson only situations a, where we would have seen situation. AI have success is on that purely defensive team that Iverson, lets him score 30 points a game. Do you think Iverson had a favorable situation in contrast to other shooting guards? For what, Alan? I, for, for being a six-foot-tall shooting guard? Yes. Having a purely defensive team that lets you be the jack of 27 shots? Because otherwise, name there aren't many other situations where you play a six foot tall shooting guard that that shoots twenty seven shots. This entire I'm time you, you've, been, you've, been, you've been harping on efficiency, and you have someone who's below league average. Yeah, crazy me harping on how ball. often the ball goes through. Yeah, the hoop. I, and that's, and that's it's fine. actually you're, a pretty big part of basketball. And I'm not, and, and I'm I'm fine with that. But then don't put somebody who's below league average in efficiency in your top ten or another position. That doesn't. Why don't you compare sense. their relative efficiency? Uh, like, uh, like I said, if we can, we can, if we we can compare relative. There efficiency. are many Adrian, situations. Adrian, I Adrian would Dantley has a higher efficiency. Higher. Adrian Danley has a higher efficiency. Kawhi Leonard has a higher efficiency. There's several players relative to their efficiency that has higher efficiencies than than Dominique Wilkins. But for whatever reason, you still put Dominique Wilkins in your top ten. That doesn't make any sense. Because both AI and Adrian Dantley were very poor defenders, Dominique which is, is half of defender. basketball. Dominic Wilson's a poor defender. He was not a poor defender. Oh, even by his own, even he would say he's a poor defender. Anybody who watched him would say he's a poor defender. I okay, go get him to tell have, me he's have, a poor I have, defender. I have people in Atlanta who lived here who watched him way more, unless you live in Atlanta, who watched him way more than you did. Atlanta card. He's a poor defender. <laughs> Atlanta card. Like, I don't, like, I don't, I don't, <laughs> you're, you're, but even still, Kawhi is a great defender, and you still have him lower. <laughs> Because so he's, played, he's played 600 games. 
Yeah, the, the health, his career. A part, yeah, but, a, part but, a good portion of his argument, reasoning is is his career yeah, too, but, and but it's like, hard, but his, but he just broke down his assessment. If twenty percent of it goes to low, the doesn't rear, low doesn't listen. Low. Pirate, wait, wait, pirate, pirate. I'll, I'll, I'll say what you repeat, just repeat. repeat. Why is it hear pirate? I want to hear pirate. I want to hear pirate. Explain the explain explain the twenty percent thing again. Explain it again. Kawhi is a great player who did not play very often and had very advantageous situations I, in I, his I, career. I ask you the question again. Say say what you said about how you broke down your yeah, assessment. Yeah, what was the 20% 20, 20, at your best yeah. and then 20%? Like, I, I remember it was like a five-year stretch, right? Okay, if you remember, my very first caveat was I think that anybody who thinks they have an absolute criteria – is is full of hubris and and pride and and thinks that they can evaluate more than they can. Okay. Roughly, I believe my criteria is roughly your best year, so your your absolute best, mm -hmm. your best short term stretch, roughly three years, mm -hmm. your your best bulk of career, roughly seven years, mm -hmm. twenty percent your career. Mm -hmm. So that's where I suppose you you'd want to call it longevity would factor in. Yep, yep, yep. And then 20%, 20 percent miscellaneous intangibles, miscellaneous. My eye test, how I feel a player could translate on a multitude of teams, a multitude of eras, a multitude of systems. So low, so like how by, his be by his criteria, I can understand because sixty percent, even his peak, his peak for the last three seasons has been spent been spent with him being hurt. Yeah, uh, seven years has been spent of him Dub, getting Dub. hurt. Even, His career even, has been spent Dub. of him getting hurt. So Dub. I get, even, I get what he's saying. Dub, I get what he's saying. Look at between 2016, 17, and that's 19. That's not his peak. I bet, but that's this is my point I'm making though. You can look at those three years and it's still better than Dominique Wilkins. Yeah, but the fact that you have to skip a year to get yeah, a three but years. but Pirate I mean, conceded to that. He said as a player, he said he will probably say like as a player for sure. Yeah. Why is it better? Well, player? He, yeah, he's already. I don't know why we're arguing the three year stretch. He's already. Yeah, he also yeah, he also right. said as a talent, Allen Iverson is a top ten shooting guard. So then what are we doing? Yeah. Oh, I've, what are I've, we doing? the point the point I'm making is that out of his own assessment, at bare minimum sixty percent of it already is favoring Kawhi. <laughs> With, with ah. low, it does not because matter. You're, you're, you're it does not like matter how deeply you explain your assessment. Like, okay, Kawhi he will has, tell you Kawhi what has the one year peak, so it's one nil. Kawhi has the three year peak, so it's two nil. Like that's not how it, it's the gap between them. If the if the one year peak isn't close, you give the advantage to Kawhi. Let's say it's 75 25 and then the three year peak gets a bit closer because Kawhi has a hurt year in between it. So then it goes to six. Mars, 40. if you want, if you and want, three, the, it's about the gap in between. Mars, them. Like, if, if you want, three, three, if, if you want, nine, if you, you want, don't just three, say, oh, well, offense goes to this. Included, like, included in all that, included in all that, is that. If like you say all that is that Kawhi no, were helped no, by very like, good situations. If you want three straight years, you can go 19, 20, 21. That's three straight years. With a postseason injury, so and he, he was hurt for all season. of them. He was hurt for all every single one of those seasons. Yeah, even twenty years, and, and I guess 20, what? Kawhi gets 20, hurt in, in the 20, In twenty twenty, he played like fifty seven out of sixty five games. Yeah, Kawhi played in twenty twenty, and then in twenty one, guess what? He tore his ACL in the second round. Mm -hmm. Another injury. He doesn't finish yeah. seasons, low. And that's so, a, and, that's that's a good, good. and there was a six month break. There was a six month break in the bubble. I mean, I don't want to bring that out there, but that that counts for something. There's no three year stretch you can give me other than. 14 to 16, where Kawhi finished the season. You're not going to give me one. It doesn't exist. Oh, so that's okay. So, so he well, has that would matter. Yes, that would matter. Yes. Okay. Well, let's, be, let's, let's be clear. Like, Some of these years, Dominique's not making the playoffs anyway, so we can't even assess him on what he does in the postseason. That's no, fine. but that's it's, it's all it's, it's, it's all getting hurt. it's all being assessed under the umbrella of what situation they got to play in as well. And so, even Kawhi's peaks. He, he was able to play in very advantageous situations, more advantageous than Dominique Wilkins. So if we took a this thousand is, this different is, this teams, this doesn't make so any why, sense. Did, why doesn't it make it? Because look, Iverson, why do people Iverson have to not make sense? Because Iverson why, why wasn't in the most, because, what I'm saying. because Iverson was not in the most advantageous situation either. No, and, and so low. One of the very first things I said was, I think he could have been a great twenty and ten point guard. 
I don't know what that has to do with him being in the most more advantageous situation. He said Allen Iverson was misused. He said that. He's not he's no. not a 30 point a game shooting guard, so, which is so, what he so, tried to emulate for 13 years. And so my point is that if that's the if case, Kawhi, that's, if they put Kawhi Leonard at center for 13 years, I wouldn't think he was a very good NBA player. All right, Kawhi no. Leonard is not going to be a great center. But, but Allen Iverson was not a great that's shooting guard. That's such a hyperbolic statement. Both of these players, in, in between Dominique and Kawhi, were in situations position wise where, like, what are we? Doing? That's kind of a little over over zealous. But five. The argument okay, is you didn't injuries. say anything. You just said okay. But, but go if, on. The, if the <laughs> argument if the argument is injuries, even still, the, you're going to list off a bunch of other players in contrast to Dominique Wilkins that yeah. have had longer careers that were – like, for example, why isn't Paul Pierce above Dominique Wilkins? Because I believe Paul uh, – Dominique Wilkins was a better talent, dude. But that's only 20%, though. This doesn't – that's only 20%. I believe man. that – I believe that Dominique Wilkins was a better talent. Can I say it any clearer? I believe yeah. that if I had a 1,000 teams to run, okay, if I could run a simulation – if I could pick a thousand rosters, who's more I efficient? I would rather put Dominique Wilkins at the three than who's Paul more, Pierce. Is, is that more simple efficient? enough? Who is more efficient, Paul Pierce or Dominique Wilkins? I mean, off the top of my head, I would, I would, I, I, again, different eras, and Paul Pierce did shoot the three. So I imagine with the three, he might, he might edge him. And he play, he and Paul Pierce is another player. Who got to play in great situations? Do you really think you would think of Paul Pierce the same if uh, Ray Allen and Kevin Garnett we hadn't joined? Have to, we, don't have to, we don't have to even go there. We, we can look at Paul Pierce primarily before then because that's where a lot of the longevity would come from anyway. Before 08. And before 08, we're talking about a player between 08 to 2001. He's playing all these games, so you can't use the injury excuse. He's averaging 25 plus, seven rebounds, four assists. He's more efficient than him as well, so that also goes out the window. He's also not on a team that's as advantageous as Kawhi is because the um, the Boston Celtics really weren't that good at all, so that also goes out the window. So even, like, he checks off all the other boxes before we even get to 08. So I, prize, I prize athleticism as a trait in basketball skill. Who was more athletic? Okay, mm. so it has to be okay. Athletic. Why, don't you, why don't you ever answer a question, Lo? Mm. What is the question you asked me? <laughs> Who was more athletic? Oh, Dominique. But this is my first time ever hearing you say you prize athleticism before it was a whole bunch of efficiency. efficiency. He said it. He different, said it different different in the beginning. He said it in the beginning. Things. If you he ask him what he values from a point guard, he's going to bring up passing. He hasn't brought up passing one time for power forwards. Like mm -hmm. each right. position is going to require different things. That's just logical. But is that yeah. wait? So let's, well, let's ask him that. Is that true? Is if in the shooting guard and point guard, like, do you, do you value athleticism solely in small forwards or would you value that? in? Oh, I, I, I value athleticism on a spectrum. I value every skill on a spectrum. I value defense on a. Sp I value defense much more for a center than I do for a point guard. That's why okay. a lot of my top centers are great defenders. I believe that's a bigger, a, a bigger uh, impact at the center position than it is at the point guard. It's not zero at the point guard. Defense sure. still matters. But so that's why I'll have Gary Payton ranked lower than some more offensively gifted point guards, where on the center, it, when we talk about centers, I'll value, uh, I'll, I'll shift more weight to the de defensive side. <laughs> so, so for shooting, so for shooting guards, <laughs> so for shooting guards, you value more, which color, right? More, more uh, now, this speed. is the crazy part when we talk about Allen Iverson. Hopefully you get, at shooting guard, I value shooting. Mm. You're cooking, you're cooking pirate. You don't mm. pirate. I like crazy, you right? I don't know. That's just me. I like it. That's just me, man. You out here doing your thing, man. And then, and then, small, and then, and then, and then, and then, and small forward, you value athleticism. At small forward, I value. Uh, surprisingly, like a little bit of a lot of things, but athleticism definitely is a key. I mean, small forward, I, I want an athletic small forward for the most part, unless, and they get everything, nothing is absolute low. You'll lose this. You're, I'll do, you'll I'll do, I'll this. I was going to ask you about power yep. forwards next. That's what I was going to ask you about power forwards. 
Yeah, sure. I mean, power forward, I still value a lot of defense. I want a defensive power forward. Mm -hmm. I want someone who can score in the post. I mean, ideally. Mm -hmm. But you know what? Here's the other crazy thing about basketball, which I love, which is one of the reasons why I love basketball. Mm -hmm. We tend to value things that we've already seen. So what I what I value is valuable things. Like if they, if if some new player came out three years from now that was a point guard that was a tremendous post scorer, and it He's not and a point it worked, guard. and it respect, worked. Respect Jalen Brunson. What are we talking about? We were the yeah, there you go. You know, so all of this is relative. All Look, of, you say you say then you nothing is that, absolute. Nothing no, no, is I'm absolute. So, yeah. so I'm saying like then your your value of post scoring for point guards would like alter a bit because you've seen a, po a post up point guard work. That's what you're saying. It might. Yeah. I mean, it might. And if the game changes, just like when I look at basketball in 2023, unfortunately I hate five out basketball. I think it's ugly, but that's, that's what the rules, what the rules have pushed it towards. And the rules have beget, certain uh, a change of skills and change of positions. And so now we put PJ Tucker in the corner. In 1973, you're not going to put your small forward in the corner and just stand. All right, that's like pointless if there's no power three point. Forward. There was no power forward. I see you're, you're, you're not. You're not, you're not going to put any wing. You're not going to put. You're yeah. not just going to stand someone stationary in a corner. In today's game, you in do. In the 90s, though, in the 90s, though, they used to do that, though. I mean, you used to a little bit, but still, again, this is uh, evolution. You get the three point. Once you get the three point line, then you have to get coaches and the game to figure out how to best utilize it. Once that starts rolling down the hill, then the skill sets start being developed more and more in the players. I mean, nothing happens overnight, but now we get to 2023 and it's gotten to this five out, you know, stand for stationary threes, drive and kick type of game. And so in this type of game, you know, uh, uh, have to value uh, guys who can hit the open three a little bit more than you would before. You'll have to value uh, this whole wave of ball hog where if you're the primary uh, ball handler, you can approach those triple double 25, 30 point a game type lines because that's what the game has, has developed into. So, I mean, you know, basketball's a, got a long history and you're going to value different things. And then when I look at a player, I like to look at, just your absolute skill set and how, how you know, if you ran a ton of – because, unfortunately, every player, all we get to see is is their actual career. And, unfortunately, that's going to be on a couple teams. That's going to be with a handful of different teammates. You know, we don't get to see what Michael Jordan looked like play, playing for all 30 teams. If we did, we could have a better judgment of how absolutely good they are. You know, that's why I mean, that's why we don't need to get upset with basketball conversations because 98 percent of everything we discuss is hypotheticals. Yes, it is. I mean, it has I'm glad you said that. Not I. I'm glad you said that. You too low. I'm not 98 of what I'm speaking about is not hypothetical. 98 is crazy. 98 is crazy. No, it, it is. But every time, if you, if we start, saying. if we start talking about Dirk versus KD, I guarantee you, the majority of the conversation is going to hinge on hypotheticals that we don't have absolute knowledge of. We can talk about what KD did was crazy. You can. You can crazy. What you value is what you saw of KG with those specific teammates on Minnesota, and what you saw of Dirk with those specific teammates on Dallas. You uh, well, like, however much you think you know what it would look like with other teammates, you don't know. Yeah, but nobody. I don't. I'm not. I'm not making. You don't with, know. Low with, with you hypothetical teammates. I'm so not. Like, yeah. You're telling me we don't know. But you're the, aren't you the same guy that'd be like, oh yeah, even if we put KD in the most optimal scenario, bro, I still don't expect him to be. I definitely like do that. not, friend. That's not 98 percent of my argument. Though. Hey, <laughs> that's, like, that's, like, that's like that's like that's like that's like that, that might be like five. You don't. Of you don't. You don't. But you criticize Pirate, but you don't consider KD scenarios in which he's going up. You just be always oh, just playoff dropper, and he's just a loser. That's because KD cooks. Him. The last two years, though, I don't know about like his whole career. Last two years. Yeah. Mm. Even though no, that's that's like, that, those, like weren't opti people. those weren't optimal teams for him like that. Besides, what's crazy 30, is you're the one who's making the argument that he's talking about right now. Mm. What you mean? You're, you're, you're making the 98 percent argument right now. I'm just going. Off no, that's does. what you do. It's, it's unavoidable. It's unavoidable. Though. It's unavoidable. Uh, I don't have not ninety eight percent. Not 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 ninety not ninety eight percent. Ninety eight percent is crazy. That's a. Can we read some super chats? Super chats. 
Let's get some super chats yeah. out the way, boys. Jeez, 98% is crazy. <sighs> AI overrated, just a high praise Kemba Walker from Jay Saucy. Reggie Rez, seems like I was right. I see casuals everywhere. Drink more water. Top five most misused players in NBA history. AI is one of those guys. What more do we have, fellas? Um, misused players in the NBA. Will Chamberlain? I think I think Kevin Garnett was misused. I think Ever. David Robinson was misused. Um, I think Luau Dang. Oh come on! <laughs> it's a name. <laughs> it's I'm trying to think y'all laugh. Y'all been talking way too much. I think. I think. I, think I, I don't think Manu Ginobili was misused. I think he just could have done more. He was underused, um, maybe. Yeah, but I don't know if that would be misused. Oh um, no way! Yo, I love this. I love this chat, bro. Crazy. That's my name. <laughs> I don't care. I had to read it. My bad. I know we got derailed, but um, so we got David Robertson, KG, Allen Iverson, Giannis. Yep, yeah, Giannis. Giannis is misused. Yeah, misused. Um, KD. Misused. Like now, nah, I'm playing. I'm playing. P- Warriors. I don't know. Like, uh, I don't know. I gave four names. Someone else can come up with one. Man. Yeah, I'm waiting. Yeah, I'm ready for another one. Yeah, I'm trying to think of a name. Kemba Walker. No, nah, I think he was used correctly or he did what he was supposed to do. Uh, Someone said Julius Randle. I say Melo. He low, say he is missed on the utilizer. He all key is. Someone said Joel Embiid. I like Joel Embiid. Yeah, why is it Melo higher than like, Yeah, I like, I like Joel Embiid. Wait, Melo? Why, yeah, why is it Mellow higher than Dominique? Why is oh, it? man. Nah, Hold he's up, man. Let me read Mello's these super chats, so. bro. I'm trying to get to super chats. Please. Yeah, my, 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 my. Carmelo, he's just not as athletic. Like, or, is, is he even efficient? Oh, well, if he just said, he just said with small forwards, he takes in a bunch of things, not just athleticism, Mars. So I'm just, I also yeah, said man. my two biggest criteria for any player tends to be defense and efficiency. So now let's talk about Mellow. <laughs> what about Ben Gordon? Mellow was more efficient than uh, Dominique. He was? Oh, yeah, Eric Cook. Yes, yeah, over. He's here. Okay, now you're, 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 you're factoring a three point shot. Eric Cook. You're factoring a three point shot? I'm, that's the way he scored, so I don't know why it's not. No, no what's the difference in the game? I mean, oh if you're going to factor. Oh, my gosh. No, no. No way a nigga told me in my taking it to No way. I think, yeah, Pi, you got to no use the field. You can't no use the air. No way a nigga told me in my taking it into consideration a way that he scored. Yes, I'm taking into consideration one of the ways he scored. All right, hey, hey, Lo, who's better, Melo or Adrian Denley? Uh, met off. That's oh I'm yeah, it's it's definitely a met off. I don't well, view it like, like I don't I don't I don't view it like you though. I don't view it. I don't look at like. However you know, view it, who is it? It's mellow. Um, it's still a met off. It's, it's close. I don't really care. It's mellow. <laughs> you don't who care. Made it, who made it farther? Actually, I I genuinely don't care. I, I genuinely. Don't care. Hey, Daniel, made right. the finals. I'll say Daniel. All right, all right, all right. Reggie Reg, uh, pirate is over twenty eleven. Jason Terry. Yeah, I'm quoting <laughs> him. <laughs> Y'all, y'all are coping Ray Allen over AI. I believe he made capping from A. Steiner. I hope I said that right. Pirate said, Mars handled my light work. <laughs> he asked for some details from Almighty Some Lambo. More. Why I said money. First 1v6 cookout we've seen in PC history. Gotta respect it. Ass. The same guy who thinks Kyrie is a better finisher than Giannis because of the degree of difficulty asking for rationale. It's hilarious. Yeah, yeah, that was a crazy. Oops. That was shout a crazy context? argument. Was, was that context? Before. Yeah, that was context. Context. Yeah, shout out context. Poor context. Jesus Christ. What? <laughs> Poor context. <laughs> Lo would be ashamed of y'all. Mm, I was. Y'all taking turns. <laughs> Stop the family cookout. <laughs> This is ridiculous. Has Junebug ever won a debate about basketball? <laughs> oh, Junebug, they called you out, man. I, I never had one debate in here today. Why am I in this? Bro, yeah, you because you, you, up, just, you, you just you just what Junebug does is he just randomly comes in with just jabs at James Harden, just randomly. Like, 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 like I came in with random. I came in with random. Oh, Alan Iverson was not efficient. Oh, James Harden, James Harden. Yeah, yeah. Don't don't have James. Don't talk to me. Alan Iverson ain't played defense. James Harden ain't played defense. Okay, but. Don't, don't scream like to me about inefficiency and then have James Harden over fucking AI. James Harden. You know what? You know what? Mars, you know what? Mars, you know what? Mars, you know what? His favorite phrase is. Worst players. You know what? His favorite phrase is. I'm going to have it. I'm sorry. 
Okay, what about Tim Harris? Tim Harris was crazy. You don't believe that, right? Because he's done nothing. He, like, he's nervous? Wise, you don't really get... Yeah, he's done nothing. His longevity sucks. So, why... Was it peak? Was he that good as a peak? Like, maybe I don't know. He like, put he as a man? shooting guard compared yeah. to AI? Yes, he said pistol. Bro, Pete Maravich. He said Ray oh, Allen. No way y'all let this nigga. Like, no you, way y'all niggas got done bro. arguing about Kawhi. And y'all let bro. this nigga get off of Pete Maravich. <laughs> Thank you, bro. Bro. He was cooking, no, though, Lowe. No way. 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 No Listen, listen. Let, when when no, somebody, when somebody listen, no, no, stop, stop, stop. Because when somebody's, you know, when they're cooking on something, they're on the burner, and maybe they add a little bit too much seasoning. <laughs> gotta let it rock a little bit, you know. Oh, gotta let it rock. Right, right, right. Just a little extra season. Right, gotta let it rock a little bit. You, know? right, 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 right. you just got. No, wait, to. hold on. Do you guys think P Pistol Pete couldn't shoot? Is that <laughs> it? It's a longevity you argument. Anything. He you just you got things. done. You got done criticizing Kawhi because of longevity, and you, bro. And, and then I tried to explain, guard. like, dude, I think AI was so miscast as a shooting guard. You could take virtually any oh, name that, that played four to five. You could take uh, virtually any name that played four to five years in the NBA at shooting guard at a mid so to Brown high level. If they were plus, Evan. if they were plus at see, all at is, shooting guard, why, no, they're this a better why shooting guard. And he's arguing out of a four or five year sample size, Bro. anyone could do it. Jaylen but now Brown, all of us fighting a four to five year sample Mitchell size for Kawhi isn't significant enough to put him over Dominique. That's why he's Gordon. Like we can. Crop why do you have to complain arguments? That's what he's. Why do you have to complain arguments? It's ridiculous. It's not, what it's I'm saying is, the argument, it's, it's the consistency, consistency of rationale. I'm gonna let Dub. Okay, so low, low. Do you understand this? Do you understand this? AI playing at shooting guard is a net negative. You understand that, okay? Okay. So any things? any shooting guard that played at a net positive was a better shooting guard than AI because <laughs> AI was a net negative at shooting guard. Do you, do you think Pistol? Do you think you know? You don't think Pistol Pete was also a, a neutral to potentially net negative as a shooting guard? Well, shooting the ball has anyone no. ever shot sixty six percent from three? Good lord! Oh my god. Yo, wait, hold on, low. You think no you think way. Pistol Pete is, is a net a negative shooting, shooting guard? No way, nigga. Use a short answer the question. Low, low. Yes or no? Do you think Pistol Pete is a net negative I think, shooting? I think, I, think, I, think, I think he would have been noticed to be better at the at the point with the one with the ball in his. Why head. can't you answer such direct yes, questions? I, think, well, I don't because I don't. I don't think. <laughs> Why is Pistol I don't, Pete a net negative at shooting guard? I don't. I don't. I don't think so. But I don't think Iverson was also okay. a net negative. I don't think Iverson was a net negative either. Though, so I, I do. Think. Okay, but I do. So you understand okay, that, but right? Your, but your, your rationale, but your rationale behind it doesn't make any sense because Pistol Pete was six five and could shoot. Says who? I mean, Says who that Pistol Pete could shoot, list, or that he was six five. Say he's six five, but he has no longevity. Who? What is? Where? Where's the proof that? And he then shoots? earlier you were adding in defense. What's the proof that Pistol Pete could shoot? Okay. Yes. The eye test or is it the goal? The yeah, shooting. The shooting form. The, the shooting. When the ball would leave his hand and then it would go through the net. I, I don't yeah, understand yeah. You have the percenters on the mid range. Yeah. I'm, 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 I'm trying to figure out how do you know that he shot well from like mid or long distance? Like Why, how do you know that at all? How do you okay. know that? Okay. okay, let me put it this way. Hey, hey, Lo, if you're playing off the ball, if you're playing off the ball, let's say in the two guard position, and you're running around the court and you're trying to get open. Do you think being six five helps being compared to six feet, or no? Do you think? Wait, wait. Oh, yes, yeah, six. Well, it just depends on your skill set. Actually, it doesn't really matter about the height. No, in any it's skill set, if you're off the ball and you're oh, running no. to try to get open to get the ball past to you, so that you can shoot the ball and hopefully it goes through the net. In the game of basketball, does being six five help being compared to six feet tall at the off ball position? In theory, in theory, yes. But if you're a really great shooter, you can be off ball and you'll be fine. Yeah, I don't but know then that that would reflect no, that, no, would, just, that would then reflect it, in the ball it, it, actually it, it, going in the net, right? Yeah, okay, that's what I'm saying. So I'm asking you, how do you know that what Pete Maravich was he shooting or was he was it a bunch of layups and finishing at the rim? That's what I'm asking. How do you know? It was both, dude. It was pistol Pete. I, 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 mean, I, he had again, great I ask you again. He I ask you again. How do you know? How do you know? How do I know that pistol Pete could shoot the ball? Yeah, how do you know how do you watch them? Just say you watch them. How do you watch them? He didn't watch the ball. 
How do you because know I'm the field goal percentage? Did he shoot? Wait, wait, what wait. percentage? Okay, I'm gonna say how, how do you know the field goal percentage that represents <laughs> Pistol Pete was majority shots instead of actually like layups and attacks? Okay, I mean you're, you're uh, I mean you're setting yourself up. Why don't you I'm look asking. at the hmm. because I it's saw Pistol okay, Pete no because I saw team. Pistol Pete shoot a high volume of shots at a at an above league average rate with extreme difficulty. How would you know what a league average is at that time? Uh, you know, Mr. Basketball Reference. Why don't you look it up? <laughs> they don't. They don't have league averages for mid-range shooting in the seventies. That's why. That's why you're asking how many games you've seen. Goddamn you hard. See look at them stuff. Right they don't. They don't. They don't. Know. They don't, they don't have that. That doesn't. That doesn't yeah. exist. So I'll ask you the question again. Unless you're just saying low, you're alive low, for the seventies. It's, low, the it's game. called look at his field goal percentage. Field and then look at how many threes there's no way there's no way there's no way, there's no way you're doing no 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 no, no, no. Stop, 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 stop 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 if you look at Shaq's field goal percentage that is not a that doesn't tell you how good of a shooter he was thank you that the field goal percentage no, is not I'm not gonna lie low low you're miss you're making it sound no, like he's saying no, something no, dumb no, if someone's a predominant jump shooter like Pistol Pete was and his field goal percentage was still good you can deduce that he was a good shooter for more stop wait 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 it's like asking how do we know Jerry West could shoot like it's a good I know it's ridiculous I know what he's saying 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 College. Most people here have watched Pistol Pete. He could shoot. No, he hasn't. He has not watched him. Oh, okay. Okay. I believe I that he's watched him. Like, Wait, no. Oh, hold on. Just say. Just say. Logan is speaking hypothetical, right? Just so low. Just say. Just Just say. Just say. Just say. Just say. No, 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 no. Low, low. You you watched everything. You're speaking hypothetical. You tell me. Could Pistol Pete shoot? Oh, I don't know because I haven't watched enough of him. I don't know. Yeah. I'll just say I don't know. If, if I don't know, I'll just say I don't know. I'm not going to make something up on the fly. If I don't know, I just don't know. But that's why I kept asking you. If you had just said, oh, I've watched an abundance of them, all right, fine. You're telling me about field goal percentage no, in basketball. Right, fine, because if he said he watched the abundance, you're going to say, how did you manage to watch it? You weren't in New Orleans at the time watching yeah. these 70s games. I know what you would have done. didn't say like, that, though. He didn't say nothing. No, because you said if I said I watched it, no, I would have just said, oh, he fine. didn't say you that, though. You would have asked him how you watched him. He play. literally said, this is what he said. I knew what you was going to say. He literally said, Mars, Mars, he literally said, he said, go to basketball to reference. Time, That's what he said. He said, go to basketball reference. That's what he said. The thing is, he said, go to basketball reference. That's exactly what he said. If he said he watched Pistol Pete, he said, go to basketball reference. What I said, what I said, was that Pistol Pete shot a high volume of difficult shots at above the He said, go to basketball This is where. What wait, I hold on. Said. Wait, time out. Time and out, time then out. when Fellas, you did your, your it down for a second, real quick, because this is where Lowe's being y'all all being fucking nasty. I'm gonna just be real <laughs> pretty because I went to go check, and even by Pirates' assumption of the league average field goal percentage, she was below league average at almost. Man, I'm, every I'm looking at it right now. I'm wow. what volume? Wow. I'm what volume? Wow. Wow. You don't want to use volume for you. you, 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 you oh, that's why Mars is like, oh, 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 fucking oh, horrible. Yeah, yeah, I know what you're saying. I know what you're saying. I know I'm just agreeing. I know, I know, I know what you're saying too, Mars. I know what you would have said, all right, fine. If he said he watched him, he would have asked him how he was watching. Yeah, I know. I know. That's why I said Lowe's been nasty. That's why I said Lowe's been nasty. We're looking at the league average. People. And we're even on league average on field goal Bro. percentage, he was still below league average. That's so why low, is he Hey, hello, guess what? In and the mid seventies, uh -huh. in the mid seventies, uh -huh. many, many more, a much higher percentage of the shots were taken by big men close to the basket at a high rate. Guards had lower perc percentages. The three point line has given an advantage to current guards. That's why you think this is the era of guards being so good. And there's no big man. Well, no shit. You give three points to a long distance <laughs> shot now. 
You didn't get well, three not, points for a long distance shot. We're not talking about how much points you get. I'm going to say, we're not talking about how much points. We're talking about, we're, we're talking about the accuracy. So, but that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Well, no, no, I, no, 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 If I go to the seventies, if I go to the seventies and I can go find guards that shot noticeably better than, um, Pete Maravich. the same clip. At the same clip, yeah, I'm, I'm going to look at Walt Frazier. I'll, 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 I'll go look at Jerry West. I'll go look at Tiny Archibald. I'll go look at guards at high volume. Other, and it, Ar- it, yeah, no, you'll hard, go look hard. at other greatest players of all time. They are. Tiny Archibald. No, stop. We're, 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 yeah. have, I'm, you well, said, you you're going to go look same, at other greatest players of all time. This, you told me at the same clip. So you told me to look at the volume. Yeah, other greatest players of all time. He is the greatest players of all time. Listen, if, he, if, he's, if he's at the bottom of the list, then the argument still is irrelevant. So I'll go if do he's that at the bottom right. of the list of greatest players of all you time. Told to you, told you, told you, you told me volume. You told me volume. You told me volume. I'm going hey, to go by the volume. Camera? Let us at least see your hands working. Hey, yo, stop being childish. Hey, yo, that's insane. That's an insane. Hey, yo, pause. No, no, because Lowe's low. He's hiding behind the low blush. He's hiding behind his icon so he can try to counter anything I say by looking up some niche argument. Let me ask you what I'm saying. I don't Tyron, like it. Admit That's that crazy. you lied. Admit you lied. You are the one who everything. keeps making the argument more and more niche. Well, if a league has, let's, let's just I'm throw going it. by guards. It, I'm going to look at guards. I'm going to look at guards. I've already agreed. Yeah, okay. So well, this, this, if, this, if, you're playing, if you're playing in a league where six out of ten of the shots are coming from the big men down low and they're shooting at like 60, 65%, and you compare that to another league oh, where no, now, no where now 60% of the shots are coming from the guards. We weren't we were, we were comparing it. 44%. Yeah, we weren't we were, we were, we were, we were comparing it to today. We were comparing it to the 2000s where Iverson existed. But again, I've already, I've said that's fine. That's fair. So what I'm going to do is exclusively compare it to other guards of that era in the 70s. That's what I just said yeah. I'm going to do. That's what I just yeah, said. And every, and every name you named was a great player. I'm going to look at all the guards, not just all the great. You also told me that you you made it more niche and said volume. So you're the one who made it more niche, which is fine. I'm going to look at the high volume guards through the 70s. And if he's still at the bottom, then your argument is still irrelevant. Can we all agree that Pete Maravich can't shoot like. (laughs) <laughs> can we please? <laughs> I have, I, I have not, I have not seen. No. I'm still yeah, saying I've not seen enough game for him. him. Yeah, he was yeah, below the average. So why are we even talking about him? Like he was below the average. So what are we talking about? Uh, wow. wow. It's like this year bounces off. Whoever just said that. The league average is the combination of all the shots taken. If the majority of the shots are taken by the big men. Then exactly. that's going to affect the league average. Excuse and so guards, guards, guards having higher percentages in the 70s is more impressive than a league where more shots are being taken by especially, the guards. You understand especially that? Ju- so you're, especially you're jump shooting guards. guards. You understand that? I mean, if you don't understand that, I mean, I'll be You said that he shot a ball So that's why everyone's calling you a liar. They're just going off of what you said. You didn't do that with Alan at all. I just want to get some brownie points because he called And you know, the funny thing is, my bad, Pirate. My bad, Pirate, because I shouldn't have said that because now that you're trying to get a one-off on you nah. because I brought up the nah, he cooked himself. Nah, like, my bad. No, no, give me that tool. No, no, oh, because we're bad. doing this where it's fractional, no, where it's that was a line. That was like it's a big deal. What was the league average? That was a line. I want to get. I want to get. He was below it. So you lied. He was missing form. He was missing form. No, he was missing form. He was missing form. He was missing form. He didn't even lie. He got asked how he knows Pete Maravich could shoot. He said his field goal percentage. Where's the line? No, 
I, I did not say he stopped. He said it was above Lee Adams. That's how he lies. Do y'all know what a lie is? Like, seriously, do y'all know what a lie is? A lie is intentionally trying to deceive Yes, he could be wrong about something. He was wrong. He's not lying. He's not lying. He's not lying. He's not lying. He's like, y'all arguing like little girls. Y'all arguing like little girls right now. Like, come on, bro. Like, come on. Like, are you serious? Earlier, a liar when he said the field goal attempts was wrong, but now this guy was just. I didn't say anything about anyone being a liar today. So what are you even talking about? When 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 someone when when someone says AI shot six or seven free throws, I'm sorry, that's not misinformed. That's a straight lie. Because if you genuinely believe that, that's just a lie. That's just dumb. Saying you think Pete Maravich shot above league average from the field. Isn't as bad as saying AI shot seven free throws. Yeah, it's, yeah, not, it's not as bad. bad. Like, not like bad. all you had to do was watch two Allen Iversons games, and you would have known seven free throws was a lie. They, like they that didn't foul, take fouls on AI. Like, that guy was that guy was getting to living at the line. So I, that was just a straight lie. That's what that was. That was I guess. Just, okay, I wanna, I wanna, wait, wait, I wanna, I wanna say this. I wanna, wait, wait, just, just quickly, just quickly, just quickly. I wanna get of all the guards between 1970 to 77 who averaged 20 points or more. P. Marich, P. Maravich had the lowest field goal percentage. The Very lowest. Oh, yeah, how many right. shot attempts? Because he was oh, taking like cooks. 20 shots a game. Love All of these players have averaged at least 20 points. Oh, no, shot attempts. He, 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 I want to pause. 20 the cutoff for P. Maravich? How is 20 points the cutoff for P. Maravich? I just point. want to know who the guards are. That's what I'm saying. Why, no, 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 no. Why is 20 points the, the cutoff right, for what Pete? You, what you, the, the pro, okay, what do you want me to make the point cut off to? Just tell me. Uh, let's go 24. Oh, it's going to make it worse. He's, he's, worse. he's, he's yeah, at the he's bottom regardless. He's, yeah, he's, he's going to be worse. If he's worse at 20, he's going to be the worst at 20. He's only going to go down. I just want to know who the guards are. That's what I want. Um, Charlie Scott, um, Golf, Patree. I don't know who it is. John Williamson, Gail Goodrich, Tiny Archibald. Um, Ron Boone, Jerry West, Walt Frazier, and David Thompson. So even right, so general even, right. So all but like two like, of those like, names like are in like top hundred. Like, th- like three of them are jump shooters. Like only three. I but do you? I don't. I don't know of the. I don't know any. I'm just. I'm just. We even went by field goal percentage, and out of field goal percentage, he's at the bottom. Yeah, but of great players, bro. But how do but how do we? But how do but how do? Kevin Harvey is not at the bottom of great players. What are we talking about? But Mars, what I'm asking you is, if if we're arguing if he can shoot or not, using someone's field goal percentage against people who get downhill and get to the rim more than he does. Oh, this is this is what he he wanted. He wanted. Wait, Pyro, have you watched Pete Maravich play? Yes. I don't. I mean, not live. Yeah, obviously. Well, no, you're obviously not live. Yeah. Yeah. So what are we talking about right now? So, but have we're going to use field watched... goal percentage, but if these guys are predominantly downhill players, especially David Thompson, no, these guys are yeah, predominantly sure. downhill players, well, but field what, goal percentage but what, is not going to be skewed. But what Fraser and, and Jerry West are a good mixture three, from what are great players. Them, no, but if you, but do you know, do you know, but do you know what Charlie Scott was? legitimately like saying, why is this guy in your top 10? There are nine other guys better than You know what Charlie Scott was doing? Do you know what Charlie Scott was doing? The Boston. Yes, Charlie Scott is in my top 100. Oh my no, yeah, no, do you know? Do you know what type of shot selection he would look at Mars? He was, Mars he kid was, no, no, I'm saying Char- Charlie Scott was the one who played in Boston, right? I know. So yeah, I know. I'm just saying, do you know the type of shot selection? Yes, he, he, he wasn't as big of a jump shooter as Pete Maravich. Do you know, Gioff, Gioff, Pat- I don't know who it is. Jeff, I don't know Jeff, Jeff Pat- Pat- yeah, he wasn't as big of a jump shooter as Pete Maravich. I don't know the difference. Okay, okay, and Pete Maravich got and Pete Maravich. Pete Maravich okay. and mo- I, most I, I, even I, I, I'm still not 100% versed in most, yeah, most yeah, I'm not even novice basketball I'm not, I'm not, fans know that Pete Maravich pulled up from further away than de- pretty much everybody yeah, from that area. Field goal there's there's field goal I'm, I'm only, I'm only using field goal percentage. He told me to use field goal percentage. That's the only reason why I'm. And I agree, and I think that he It's like it's like he doesn't even like like you really believe Pete Maravich couldn't shoot. No, my argument, no, the, the problem is that you said that. he was ab- above league average. You don't know that. Nobody, none of us know it. So just say you don't, don't know. know. You're, the, the assessment that you made that he was above average as a shooter for that point. Then you use field goal percentage. Then we said he was below league average. Then you said, well, when it comes to field goal percentage, you have to look at the bigs. And at that time, majority were taken by bigs. I said, okay, cool. So I use field goal percentage exclusively to guards. And even when we yeah. use guards. And then, and then you said, oh, before you and that, you named like eight great volume. players. No, Charlie's, I didn't. Oh, I named, on, I, named, it, I, named, I, named, I named three or four of them. Yeah, cut that out, bro. Oh my god. 
And not only did I name three or four of them, some of them, some of them didn't even play the entire stretch, such as Jerry West, because he was older. So he wasn't even like a, a peak Jerry West, right? I named David Thompson, Walt Frazier, Jerry West. But Ron Boone is not an all-time great. If you want to say Gail Goodrich, I, I guess. But John Wils Williamson is not an all-time great. Um, Charlie Scott is not an all-time great. Um, Geoff P, whatever his name, whatever his name is, he's not an all time great. These are multiple players who are not all time greats, and there's he's still below them. So, what are we talking about? I said he's uh, at the bottom. Uh, we're, we're, gonna... What we're talking about, low, is is Pistol Pete shooting a very high volume of shots, a lot of them off the dribble from far away from the basket, farther so, yeah, away than so most yeah, everybody in the He's making these same things that happens. nobody doesn't know. I don't, that's this the problem. You don't know that you don't know these things. That's all I'm saying, bro. You don't know. You don't know how many to say that there's a lot of them. You don't know that. You don't know that. Good lord. Okay. Uh, so why did you we could agree to we could okay, agree to disagree. We could agree to disagree. He didn't do this for Iverson at all. He didn't do this for Iverson. He didn't do none of that for Iverson. None of that shit. None of that. 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 Who is more of Oh I need, God. I need, I need to read this. Who has more six? Give me a second. Oh, give me a second. I don't want to don't wanna be muting people. Okay. All right, there we go. Oh, AI so with D'Antoni and Phoenix from 05 to 07. They were talking about Allen Iverson on yeah, the opt name, name, optimal yeah, team. Yeah, what about yeah. the 95-96 Sonics about Allen Iverson going to an optimal team? No, uh, no, 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 about that one. AI with George, AI with George Cole. Am no. I, am I, am I ashamed? Yes, I'm sad to say, especially because they let him get Pete Miravich off in the top ten list. Because Jesus, Jordan Poole in Washington <laughs> equals Allen Iverson from Jackson Williams. <laughs> No, please end this death and destruction everywhere from Reggie Reg. Wait, hold on. Wait, so low definitely has a top ten shooting guards list, right? Let's hear it. Yeah, and I would I wouldn't put P. Miravich off of, off of your no, I mean, off your argument, one, right? Let's hear it. Off of, off off of your argument, I would not put Pete Miravich, who not only has a short prime, but also no, but you have your own, have right? So let's hear it. Oh, let's let's oh, let Dub so let, I, when Dub get finished with it, then we'll we'll I'll, yeah I'll, yeah for I'll sure for sure. Harder yeah. better than AI. More free throw equals more free throws equals more scoring. They got who is that? What is the that? fuck is that? Um, someone's, yeah. someone's gonna give up. Yep, I got it. it was Bob. They got they got their daddy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, a bit behind, but Pirate putting these young boys in a blender. He putting the old heads on his back. At least try to understand him. LOL. Yeah. I would like to say he is the best old head that I have been around. So appreciate mm -hmm. him. He just lined for uh here we go with the he just lined for real. Kawhi will make Dominique Wilkins retire early. Uh we need Pirate yeah. on the panel. He is a great debater. I'm just here to say what up to my boy Dub. Shout out to you. It's about damn time. Mr. P P. McCall is low key cooking. Is low key okay, sir? It's cooking low key. Cooking low key. Okay, mm, cooking, cooking low key. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ oh, though. <laughs> no, he no, said no, cooking no, low no, key. No, okay, no. sir. <laughs> oh, My bad. My bad. Pirate looking like Jordan in his prime six and oh. Mm. Pirate is going crazy. League average in the seventies was fifty point nine. PP shop fifty percent. Cooked. P. Pair. Yeah. Whatever. Pistol Pete. Yeah, Pistol so, Pete. Bro, who right, cares? Who cares? Man? All right. There you go, Low. You can give us your list. Uh, No order. Jordan. Jordan Kobe. No order. Okay. Yeah, no order. Yeah. That defeats the whole purpose. <laughs> oh, okay. Jordan Kobe, Wade. Mm, Harden. Iverson and Drexler kind of go interchangeable with me. Gerving, uh, Gerving is up there as well. I shot, I did like the Gerving, um, spot. I did, I, I appreciate that. Um, he needs more pop. love from the young Ray, guys, man. Ray Allen, Reggie, and Ray Allen, yeah. Reggie, Ray Allen. Miller. Yeah. Reggie yeah, Ray Miller, top, top 10. 10. Ray Allen has a yo. Reggie, Reggie's been getting this random gas. I don't know what's been going on. Bro. I think Reggie's like eight, 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 nine, or ten. Come on, man. eight, nine, or ten. Like, no, I, think, Reggie. I, think, I think Reggie in the top ten is fine. Let yeah, me one off. I'm not saying he's not a top ten shooter. No, that, that wasn't that wasn't that wasn't ten. You got Reggie over Jimmy Butler. Nah, that was nine. That was nine. Jimmy Butler's a three. My four. He's a two to me. I'm not gonna lie. I don't care what they say. He'll always be a two. Clay is not. He can be ten. He's just a ten. 
Someone Reggie else did lead an organization. Oh, Clay, Clay, Clay is not a top two shooting guard. I don't know. If, J- if Jimmy was, if, if Jimmy's a two, I feel more comfortable putting Jimmy over Clay. Yeah. Not you here. consider you consider Jerry West a point guard then, right? Yeah, I do. I consider him a point guard. Yeah, um, yeah I do too. If he wasn't, just, then obviously he would have. Yeah, that's what, that's why I asked because yeah. people are yeah. asking about him. I was like, yeah. I couldn't figure that out, but people. Oh, by yeah, the you know. Ginobili or Reggie Miller? That's a close Reggie, one. but Ginobili's Ginobili's yeah. 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 somewhere yeah. close to my top ten. Mm. I feel like Manu just wasn't was given the same opportunity. So Manu, the ten spot low. All the skills versus Reggie. Uh, Did you say AI yet? I, I, I said he said, said AI out five. Yeah. He said AI five. Yeah. AI our, 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 if, if Jimmy Ball is a shooting guard, I genuinely would put probably Jimmy. At, 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 uh, That's crazy. I don't think he four. peaked at the two though. I don't consider him a two. I consider him a third. Definitely Definitely he's a three. Man, you ain't watch Chicago. You young man. That's why. I'm close uh, to considering Paul George. Did he get like, first? I know we are we are getting in that man. point in, in PG's career where he's yeah. Paul George is Paul George is looking like he's a two. Like we're that. definitely getting to that point in his career. Mm-hmm. I always he's thought always, he was a two. He's always been a two. Yeah, he's always been a two. AI replacing Westbrook in 2017. They don't win. I don't even know if they make the playoffs. Yeah, he's not doing the. Oh, yeah, they'll, man. they'll be they'll, they'll be like they'll, 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 they'll be a playing team. Hey, what is what is the stop? What is the point guard? Oh, you gotta go. You Again, gotta go. Talking about replacing point guards. I mean, if y'all want to keep going, go ahead. Well, what is a, what is a Stockton thing? Pa- if, pa- if Pirate and Legend are gonna have the the Stockton thing, that's I'll, like I'll a whole nother like space. Y'all doing like, the Stockton versus? Probably, yeah, you probably Ooh, don't yeah, know. I don't yeah, yeah, I just, I just, I just want to hear the argument. That's, I just want to hear this argument. I'm, uh, Doug, we could, Doug, We ain't got another show coming on. Yeah, but you know, Pirate's gonna be back soon. I'm about to grab his information. We can save it for another show. Make it the title of the video. I'm, I highly doubt I would be. Low's too Hollywood for us. Low Low, Low, is the We have to go here now. We have to. You might as well. You might as well. (laughs) I hate y'all. Go ahead and do it. I'll be right back, man. Go ahead. They don't have have to be that long. Okay, let me just say, I guess my two biggest. I'll just start like this. Uh, w promo. Hey, no, wait, wait, wait. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, my w promo right oh, there, guys. Mark, Mark, Subscribe what's going to on? Mars Talk Sports on oh. YouTube. Subscribe. Hold on, wait, wait. Let me say this real quick because somebody, somebody just said low never does a low nose. I try to do low nose, but like, there's so many other things. I got to get the um schedule for a PC. There's been at bare minimum two or three times, right, Mars? Well, I tried yeah, to do a low nose. No, no ask for low nose, and even as a show coming on, or we don't have someone who can host it. Like he, yeah. does, he does ask to do loaners. So yes, I've it. I've I've asked to do it. It's just sometimes there's other things going on. But we don't have a um a low nose on the weekend because we haven't yeah, uh, the I guess the hundred K special. special yeah. yeah. Every every show will be on on Saturday. Do that shit on people, Sunday. People, people, no people, Sunday. The people shows. want a, the people want a freestyle what? load. The people want a freestyle. They've been seeing your rap videos. What are you talking about? True, right, true, let's, true. Let's let's can let's continue this. What is go on go on John Stockton John Stockton. Yeah, legend of legend of Mars. I'll try not to digress. I'll make a couple points and let load try to address them. My my two biggest issues because I've seen you talk about Stockton Malone. Stockton slash Malone and the Utah Jazz a lot. So here are the two things that I've noticed, and let me just get your thoughts on it. When I hear you talk about, it seems like you've got something against them <laughs> because when you talk about because when you talk about Stockton, it seems like the two biggest points that I hear you say is that well, fourteen assists per uh, per game is easy. <laughs> All you had to do was hand the ball to Malone, like Malone was this magical force. That no other point guard in history had. Nobody had anything like just handing the ball to Malone. But then the other day, you, you guys were talking about Malone, and you said Tim Duncan's a better offensive player than Malone. You said Malone's overrated. He's not. He's not this great offensive force. So it seems like if you're talking Stockton, then then Malone is this god that made Stockton. Stockton wouldn't be anything without Malone. But then when you when you were talking about Malone, you, you said he was overrated. These other players were better. And uh, and and you use this debate <laughs> tactic where you go, well, you guys say that Stockton is so good. So Malone got to play with Stockton, and that's why Malone was good. So I just want to know, was Stockton trash? Was Did Malone make Stockton? Was Malone trash? Did, did Stockton make Malone? Were they both trash? And they just fell into one guy getting 17 and 14, the other guy getting 30 and 10, getting a 65% win percentage. And then here's the other uh, one more. And then the second point I hear you always go back. It seems when other people are making points, you, you 
you talk down on winning bias and you, using winning. But then the main argument I hear you say against Stockton and Malone is, well, why didn't they win? I can't oh rank them high because, because they didn't win. Like if they were so great, if if the, if he's a top five point guard and the other guys are top five power forward, why couldn't they get past the second round? Why do they have a losing record? So, so is it winning bias only when the other person says it? And also, did Stockton make Malone? Did Malone make Stockton? Was Malone this this crazy offensive force that just made Stockton that apparently no other point guard in seventy five years ever had anything like just handing the ball to Malone? So, Cook. Oh, oh my God. Mm. Low? Um, a couple things. A, I think majority of the time, especially when I'm arguing people, uh, I argue different things based off of what they believe. So a lot of things that I just got done arguing with you about when it comes to, um, like, assessing ball players the way that you assess them, I don't believe in. I'm just arguing with it because it's your ideology and your logic. So a lot of times so when I'm arguing – Say it on. again? The Socratic method, but go on. Okay. So, <coughs> the, but the, so a lot of those things I may not fully invest in as much as other people, but I'm just using the concept because if that's, if that's the lens in which you're arguing through, then it just doesn't make any sense because it may not be applicable to certain players. And I think that's where a lot of, I guess, my argument or rhetoric stems with John Stockton and Malone. So to assess the, the first part where you said who made, who made who and like they both play with one another and they like was it just starting and dumping off to Malone? Um, I've never I've never stated that, and if I have said that, I was um, being facetious. But I've, that's never been my argument. My argument from especially in the late eighties, early nineties, has been the team in totality, not just Malone. Matter of fact, when m many people may argue when I say something along the lines of, oh, um, he just had Malone and Malone made him, I'll make sure to clarify that I'm not saying that. I'm saying from a team standpoint, they had a lot of great play finishers, right? And that's where I come up with the Jeff Malones, the um, – what's the other gentleman? What's the other gentleman name that I've – that I'll rattle Earl off? Earl Bailey. Um, throw the – Earl um, – the Earl, Jeff Malones, the Thurl Baileys, and um, – I can't think of another gentleman name. It was like three. There was like three forwards that they kind of funneled through throughout that time, and all three of them, outside of Malone, were really good play finishers. Where they can just come off screens, get the ball, and they do a layup or a jump shot or hook shot, and they're making shots at a very very high clip, regardless of the advantage being created for one player or another. The other one is um, Dale Griffith, right? So that's my argument: is that all that it's just not Malone, it's all three of them as well on top of Malone and in the playing style that they have. The second thing is when I'm arguing against um, Stockton, the argument of passing and playmaking to me doesn't make any sense because if you're playmaking, that means you have to create some form of advantage. But a lot of times, especially when his high assist years, he's not creating as many advantages as people make it out to be rather than him just standing at the top of the key and letting players coming off screens and him passing the ball to him passing the ball to them and allowing them to then finish. That's not playmaking. That's just it's table setting. That's facilitating, but it's not playmaking. He's not actually creating the advantage for them at all. And even the level of passing that it would take to pull off those type of plays also isn't that difficult to make the argument that he's a top three, five, seven passer of all time. Um, so that's my assessment of Stockton. When it comes to Malone, I've never seen a player – especially for the the print the prowess of player that people put him in especially his ability to like as a score for him to drop in his accuracy as often as he did when the postseason came along which when you go in the postseason you start to see a lot of their games while they would end up losing down the stretch of games had a lot to just do with the fact that it was rudimentary, predictable offensive schemes that a lot of opposing teams are able to defend against, um, especially in pivotal moments, which is something that is not only you can see, but also talked about not only from the Bulls, but also from the Seattle Supersonics. And it's one more team as well. That's like I have record of like them saying like we kind of knew what they were going to do. We knew how to the Suns. I think it was the Suns. We knew how to attack them. We knew where the ball was going to be, et cetera, et cetera. And then the only time their offense got noticeably better is when they became more focused in the idea of just handing the ball to Malone in the post. But again, a lot of that um, setting up um, Malone and production didn't really carry over into the postseason, especially the accuracy. So that's where a lot of the, the gripe comes from. 
And I don't think that if you have two players of that caliber that people put them on, if they're on the same team with one another, the impact that they have should be seen in the postseason. However, that impact is inconsistently seen with a lot of it ha having to do with, once more, some of the, the – um, structure of the offense that allowed them to put up those numbers kind of then is reduced to like predictable offenses that really weren't translating as much in the postseason. That that's where that's where a lot of that gripe comes from. Um, so I think that attacks both the winning bias and both of them as players, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, I mean, I'm I'm tr I'm honestly trying to send you uh, all the charity and the argument I can. So I mean, like I, you know. I think you believe what you're saying, but I do think there are inconsistencies. I mean, first, just to go back to when you described your primary method of debate, which I linked to the Socratic method, basically trying to use someone's logic against you. I mean, that's that's well and good, but it does it, a lot of times it doesn't take you to a logic, logical conclusion. I mean, it, it's 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 much easier to try to prove somebody else wrong than to try to find the absolute truth. And I think when you get caught up in that, you can get caught up in hyperbole. Um, I, I do, I do like, agree, but I think a lot of nature in this in these conversations, they are hyperbolic in nature. I, I, no, I understand. It's the internet, I and you know, yeah. yeah, yeah. No, I mean, I, I get the format and everything. Um, and I do kind of take it personally, just because I did grow up in that era with with Stockton and Malone, and. Another thing you talk about, you know, how I guess we're old heads, you know, the old people and how we didn't didn't watch or weren't as invested in basketball as the youth today. And that just eats my craw because, you know, well, I mean, you could, it, most of y'all couldn't be, though. You couldn't be. Bro, but I mean, I don't think like the world. I think the world was just a little different than than you think it was, man. Like I loved basketball. I would we had VCRs. I would record a ton of games you know, and watch them over and over. I, I would wait up until one o'clock on Saturday night to watch George Michael's sports machine. You know, I would wake up at six o'clock in the morning to watch uh, Inside Stuff, the NBA, you know. <laughs> when ESPN came out, like us basketball fans, we love that shit. You know, we would actually get up and go buy the buy the videotape and record the games. We, we, we would, uh, we would like, you know, walk down and, and buy the latest issue of Slam. You know, we would devour ESPN. We would, I saw a ton of Stockton and Malone. And I knew even then, it's it's almost the same thing with Larry Bird. Like kids today are like, how could Larry Bird exist in the league today? What, the league that lets Luka Donk, Donkic and, and, and Jokic be two of the greatest players? Like Larry Bird wouldn't be athletic enough? Like we knew Stockton was boring then. It's it's not like some new uh, revelation. I, but I want to be yeah, clear because uh, this these are you're saying things that I'm not saying. So let me a. I never said he was. I never using the terminology of boring. So it's not. No, that. but you it's make just, it sound easier than what it is. It's not. It's not. I never, never, not. never said the word easy either. The point I'm making is that if if the playing style that they're use they're utilizing is a mundane, meaning that it's the same thing, meaning that it can then later be predictable, then meaning that the defense can have easier ways to scheme against it, that is playing into the detriment of what the team's success will look like. But then you're kind of reverting back to this winning bias and not not going back to their 15 guys on the roster, man. And and well, like, I think, I think, I think it should... I think it, I think it should I think it should go for everybody. But uh, the winning bias more so goes into impact. So if, if they were... Because the way that I assess things is solely based off of how you're able to impact the game. And so if if they needed Stockton to be a bit more versatile and, and more dynamic as a scorer to aid them in winning, then well, that's what I they mean, would need him to do. How much can you ask out of one guy, dude? I mean, the guy was an incredibly efficient scorer, was he not? For, I mean, uh, you could say I you want him to do more, but for the level that he shot, was he an incredibly efficient scorer? I think he was incredibly efficient, but this is where, like, this is where – the, the disconnect comes from there there is a value in efficiency but i think there's also a value in being able to put pressure on the defense with being a much better scoring threat correct this is not only something that you can just yes, see from no. addressing but also things Holy that people people of that time also criticized stocking for 
Um, not not just even even like even players in previous eras who have right, stated Mark. themselves that if they became more <laughs> dominant scores or more aggressive scores, then they can manipulate defense as much more. Stockton's inability, I, mean, I don't think his inability, his just decision not to played into the hands of the opposing team defense because they knew what he was attempting to do, especially in late game situations, which then aided the process and the opposing team making stops when it just didn't need to happen. Those are all things that play in the detriment into the impact of what they were able to do, regardless of what the numbers may state. So, yes, yeah, sure, throughout the game, they're able to get these assists. And even then, you can make the, a fair assessment that some of these assists or some of these scoring, the points of the scoring, isn't as impactful as it would seem to be. No, and I, I, I'll, I'll even concede that predictability factor. I mean, I, I, I'll, I'll, I'll give you that. You know, like okay. it, it was not a, a extremely diverse uh, offense. But at the same time, what I'm saying is how much do you want to ask out of one man? Like when I look at assists and how much somebody's scoring, I'm, you always have to think if you're going to ask a player to get less assists and less passes for the for the overall team performance to improve, you would have to replace those passes that he's making with efficient scoring correct right i mean not, it, it, not, wouldn't not, not it wouldn't do any good if stockton no. was passing less and then he his his scoring dropped to a very low clip right a, a, a very low <laughs> clip no but if it just dropped to a lower clip then yes because again it puts the defense it consistently puts the defense at question on how they're going to defend but if i'm coming down the court and i know how i'm defending you every single time then no, like that, that is, in my opinion, that's just as detrimental as you going out there and just shot chucking because you're still playing into the a defense hand. What you're trying to do is trying to make things a bit more, not, not as accessible to the defense to stopping your offense. That's what you're attempting to do offensively. When you play oh. into, when you play into that, you're playing, um, you're, you're being more of a detriment to your team's offense. And I think you were willing to it, it, admit, or at least many people are willing to admit. Okay, well, let, let's look at the actual reality, okay? And then look at what the alternate reality might be. The three years where Stockton averaged roughly 17 points on about 56% effective field goal and 14 assists and I think uh, around three turnovers, right? You so said how many, how many you, assists? You said the 14 assists, that's you saying? 14 assists, 17 okay. points, 56% of... Uh, uh, EFG, okay, yeah, okay, okay, and uh, about three turnovers or so, and like two and a half steals or something. Okay, okay, all right. So if you take that three year stretch, and you're saying that he was a detriment in that three year stretch because he was passing too much and getting too many assists, and he should have been a, a more aggressive scorer. What type of line do you think John Stockton really would have been putting up that was better than 17 and 14 that would have made the team better? It does, he doesn't have to put it. It's not even really about the line. It's just about being the scoring threat. So technically speaking, because even in some of those years that you're naming, there's a portion of their of their time together in Utah where they were below a league average team offensively. Like offensively, the Utah yeah. Jazz, they can, they can put those numbers up and they're below league average. And so what I'm saying is that Stockton, theoretically speaking, could have put up 20 and 12 and was slightly less accurate, and it might have done wonders to the team because he had a more scoring threat, which kept the defense honest, which then didn't allow the defense to sag off Stockton as much because they knew not to play in passing lanes because they still had to treat him as a scoring threat. In contrast to Stockton staying at the top of the key and then them mucking up passing lanes and Stockton trying to figure out how he's going to pass and not just be aggressive as a scorer. That's what I'm saying. Okay, I mean, I hear you, but again, I think you're just being a little hyperbolic because I think if you're first it's off, hyperbolic I think to between, ask for three more points. That's that's hyperbolic. No, it's hyperbolic to say that that would have been a major difference in the, oh, the total performance of the team. Ma major, major difference is no. I'm not saying major, but I'm saying is those are all things that could have potentially made adjustments, I, especially in the postseason. I don't even really think it's a large part of Stockton rather than Malone because Malone's accuracy in the postseason plummeted pretty pretty often in but the, then in you also you gotta you gotta remember the error and power forwards and front courts in that era were there were fucking beasts i've i've looked i've looked i've looked at it several times there's no other especially high volume power forward that would see the, the type of drops that we're talking about from um, malone especially in the um 
in the late 80s, early 90s. It just there just aren't any. I've done this several times. There's there's years where Malone has 51, 52, 56, 53 in a regular season, and we'll go into the postseason. It's like 48, 50, 44, 45, 52, 45, 46, 46, 47. There's several years where he's like 50 up, and then he'll go to the postseason and is dropping like mid 40s. There's no other. There's just not. I've and I've done this several times. There just there isn't. There just isn't any. There just is no, not. No, I mean, I'll, uh, I'll agree with that. Like that, that's that's free out. And that's and know? that's and that's and that's in contrast but, to other all time greats. That is a, a consistent theme that isn't seen too often, especially in offensively oriented players. It's just not. Well, not I to mean, that. Extent. To let me let me be clear. Not, not to that extent. Players do drop in the postseason, but not to the extent where their accuracy is dropping. Three, four, five, six, seven percent on a consistent basis. That is not a consistent thing. That's just not. Well, first, I'd say there's a huge difference between three percent and seven percent. So just to like group it all together, you know, like if he has a season where it drops three percent, if it's three, then I'm way more yeah. forgiving. But if it's a three yeah. next to a seven, next to a six, back to a three, then that's just not only a consistent thing, but it also means it doesn't even. Ma- It'd be one thing if it exclusively drops on specific teams, like Giannis will exclusively drop against like a great defensive teams like the Miami Heat, you know he's going to drop. Against the Toronto Raptors, it drops. Like those, even those, I may be a bit more forgiving. Malone would go up against almost any team in the Western Conference. Phoenix Suns, Seattle Supersonics, Portland Trailblazers. Um, you know, and it mattered. It was going to, it was dropping regardless. And again, a lot of that had to do with the fact that the offense was set in a way where yeah. they knew Malone's getting it here. So we're going to double, we're going to force him to make tough shots. Especially no, no, early in the early 90s, he wasn't that good of a passer. So we can trap him, force him tough shots. And the whole offense just sat and watched him because that was their offense. And instead of Stockton picking up more of an aggressive scoring role, it was easier for teams to not only slow down Malone, but also in tune, force games in favor of teams that should not have been beaten the Utah Jazz at that time. No, and uh, like honestly, like I'll agree with uh, like a few of the the nuts and bolts of your argument, but I think th- this goes back to this whole thing of like when we assign blame to individual players for issues that like the things that you mentioned about predictability, you know. I think that's a that's a Utah Jazz thing. That's not a Stockton and Malone thing. That doesn't okay. detract from how great Stockton was or how great Malone was. Okay. That detracts okay. from when you talk about the team of the Utah Jazz. Just like the other day, you guys were talking about how, how much to value the Celtics rings in the 60s, right? And the fact is that, yes, in the 60s, you had to go through less rounds and there were less teams to win the championship. So whatever value you do place on those rings, you lower. But I don't attribute that that lower that diminishing either Bill Russell or Michael Jordan. That that's issues that I'm talking about the Celtics or the Bulls. And all that yeah. is fine, but then you also so, have to acknowledge that the the and I agree that the system that they were in contributed to that. That's correct. But the system that they're playing in also is contributing to the numbers that they're po- posting up. And this is where, again, I don't talk in hypotheticals. I'm only going off of what I'm seeing. So if the system that they're playing in is allowing them to put up those numbers, that's the system that we are evaluating them in because that's the same system that you – I'm not saying you in particular – that people are valuing who John Stockton and Carl Malone are as players but because as players, that's the numbers that they were able to put up in that system. No, no, no. Okay, but that – okay, now I'm glad you touched on that because that's one of the biggest mis, mis, uh, uh, issues that I hear a lot of people talking about Stockton, that it's this system that created the assists. I mean, like, uh, okay, I'm sure you're aware that Jerry Sloan came in after year three, right? Okay. And Jerry Sloan made John Stockton a starter. He was all, okay. all, he came off the bench for the first three years. Okay. Are you aware that per 36, before Sloan was even the coach of the team, before uh, when Malone got drafted, they didn't even play that much together because Malone was a starter and, and Stockton was off the bench. Stockton led the league in assists per 36 in the limited – Stockton was the system. 
Like it, it, right. Jerry yeah, Jones' system this didn't this create is, John Stockton being able to pass the ball Frank, and, and Frank, get it. Six. Frank, 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 is it Landale or Laydale, whatever his name is, Layden Layden. or whatever, Layden. Layden. Frank Layden, before Jerry Simone, Jerry Simone was the assistant. They were, they were running a similar offense before um, what's his name got there. So it wasn't like this was like some drastically different um, system Stockton, that was set in place. It no, was, it Stockton, was, had, Stockton had per, per minute. He had many more assists than the starter is for even, the Jazz and every other point guard in the league. No, what I'm, mm -hmm. what I'm, but the point I'm making is that the system that was set in place wasn't some drastically different system from one coach to the next. Layden was running a very similar system that Salone would also then carry out to run later on in his years. So, and, and again, I'm not necessarily calling you. I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not trying to get into this point where I'm calling him a system player. I'm acknowledging that, well, A, let's be clear. Yes, the system aided him in the process of averaging no assists. There's no other way around it. The system that put the ball in his hands, that kept the ball in his hands, without a doubt, aided him in that process. That's not me calling him a system player. This is acknowledging the style of play that they're playing in, right? So if, if that's the case, all I'm stating is that if we're going to acknowledge that the system that they are playing in also put them at a disadvantage in terms of impact, regardless if it's late game situations and regular season play or in the postseason and beyond, which is fine to assess. You also have to acknowledge that that same system that put them in a disadvantage also gave them this significant advantage to put up those numbers that they wanted to put up because when time progressed and they started to go away from the system and they started to manipulate defenses more with illegal defensive rules instead of running the the, the guards and off um and shooters such as Thurl Bailey and and Jeff Malone off the of screens and they start losing some of those personnel so they started to be more post oriented and started utilizing illegal defense in their favor more often when they started to do that Stockton numbers started to decrease across the board so well, you have to, you have to acknowledge that. He also yeah, started but, to get but, the, but But him getting 10 assists wasn't necessarily predicated on his hyper-athleticism. He could have got 10 assists that way if he just stood at the top of the key and just start passing the ball one way or another. His, him why getting was, 10, huh? Why, why, why wasn't, why wasn't the, either the other point guards on the Jazz or any other point guard in the league getting assists like he was? And I was it, uh, it say, in a way, I can, I can you are, you are correct. Question. You, you are correct in saying, I mean, this is where the hypothetical thing comes in. Because, like, hypothetically, if Tra Tracy McGrady only got past the ball one time every game, if that was the system he was in, he, he would have been a two-point-a-game scorer, right? So, I mean, we can only go not by what, what? <laughs> That's not hypothetical. If he got past the ball two point, two games, two times, that's it. But, the re but I answered the question about why weren't nobody else doing it. Because it wasn't as impactful. <laughs> Like in this argument, because people use the argument for like, why isn't nobody else averaging a triple double like Russell Westbrook? Because there's other ways to win basketball games that may not show up in the box score. It may be better for a, a player, especially a point guard, to be aggressive on certain possessions to make sure the defense can be kept honest. There may be certain times where somebody needs to be uh, more off ball oriented. There may be certain times where they need to be more post oriented or more three point oriented or more scoring oriented or attacking the basket there may just be other times where it's more impactful for them to do things that may not always translate in the box but score this, that's this, why this they did those other things but and, also, and, also, and also everybody doesn't have the same personnel obviously as everybody else in coaching right so, but, yeah. but I, I, this is where i think you're really underselling the success that they did have you're acting like they're the 18 win sixers Nobody you know was, i no, mean I'm, they I'm had comparing them to other all-time greats <laughs> that's it it's not like I'm they saying it's have, straight tr trash, but compared to other all-time greats, no, they're not. They're not. They're not. So, I mean, what do you see when you see John Stockton just as far as his skill set? Because I'll tell you what I see. A great shooter. Do we agree that John Stockton uh, sure, shooter? Sure, sure. A great I, passer. I don't know. I don't know how far. Okay, a great Sure, I will go with great passer as well. <laughs> okay, what grade, what, what grade range would you give him on defense? I think he was actually a way better defender than people give him credit for. I would probably, I, I would also say he's a great defender. That's fine. So, 
I mean, what 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 more do you want out of a point guard, man? <laughs> I would I would I would want I would I would want a point guard who would be more impactful to games, especially in the postseason. That's more dynamic as a player. I would want a point guard who has the ability to better assess what defenses are doing rather than just capitulating to what the um what the what the scheme is on a possession to possession basis. That's what I would actually want out of my point guard. Right. So that's what I'm saying. You're, now you're going back. You you would want more team success. So then you also no, have. Just, oh my god! I'll, I'll say I'll say I'll say what I just said again. I want a a point guard who has the ability to assess defensive schemes way more often, be much more aggressive, be way more dynamic as a player, and not just capitulate to whatever the offensive scheme is. That's what I would want on my point guard. I mean, uh, you see it as capitulation. I I don't see it that way. I see it as very good fucking floor generalship. And I see, I think, a, I, think, I see I think winning. I, I see. A, I saw a very successful team. I would see men every day. I would, I would look up. You know, we'd see here's John Stockton again going for 20, 20 points, fifteen assists, two turnovers, three steals. I get that, but what, when you he's say, but, uh, I want to, I want to be clear. When you're, uh, I'm comparing him. We're, we're comparing him to other all time great point guards. So when you're exactly. saying that you see, you see these things. A lot of these things are also being obtained, especially from a. Um, a success standpoint, if that's how we're assessing them, it's also seen through other point guards as well. So, like, there has to be yeah. something that stands out amongst him and everyone else. That's what I, that's efficiency and consistency, which are unfortunately are the two things that like don't show up in highlights. You know, like oh, if, when, okay, if well, you watch if you watch highlights of Stockton, you don't see consistency. Consistency is the one thing that does not show up in highlights. You can consistency yeah. is every. He was a, he was a workman. Dude would not miss a game. I think he missed like two games in ten years. Oh, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Availability is also important, but I'm of the belief that, and this is where we probably just disagree. I'm of the belief that I would value if your if your ceiling of what you're able to achieve and assess is higher than Stockton's, even if that ceiling is for only five to six or seven years, and Stockton was able to provide. 13 years of what he was able to provide i would rather pick the person who who peaked at a seven year stretch higher than john stockton's 13 stretch because i know for a fact no. what that seven year stretch that i can get is a, a noticeably better player yeah and I, I i don't value longevity very much i'm looking at his actual peak performances i mean like are, are you aware john stockton could have retired after his like 11th year and he would still be the current assist lead, and that, I think people would probably look at him totally different. They would look, they would look back on him, and they would be like, "God damn, John Stockton only played twelve years, and CP three and Kid still can touch him in steals and steals." But, but those are but those you are know? numbers, though. I'm not talking. No, but about I'm just numbers. I'm just saying for some reason it seems like Stockton more than anyone, like the longevity is used against him. It's like it's, against, I just said it. Because he used 40 years, people think that the only re reason he's valued is 40 years. I look oh. at like a three-year stretch where I'm getting uh, 17 points and 14 assists on 56% effective field goal from a point guard and and a 65 to 70% win percentage and uh, three steals a game. You know, and you're, and uh, you're, you're using numbers again. I'm talking about the ways that to I'm looking. Game. I'm looking at the eye test. I look at the eye test. And I'm like, man, this is like an numbers. A defender. Everything, everything you just said was off um, numbers. You just said 17 points. Yeah, 14 points, I know. 14. So now, so now I'm going to go back to why those numbers existed. Because the dude was an A defender. Because the dude was smart as hell and and saw, and saw the floor and knew exactly who to pass he, it to every time. Because they, were open, because, they were, because they didn't, were open. Didn't dribble it off his knee. Didn't throw it into the yeah, third because, row. Because he never did anything that was complicated for him to dribble off his knee. Because he didn't. He, he didn't, barely. Never, that's he, not, barely that's, that's he barely. He barely. He barely went left. Let's stop lying. He act like he's Bob <laughs> Cousy, dude. Like I don't have. Bob I didn't, I didn't say. I didn't, I didn't say. I didn't say he was. I said he barely went left. That's what I just said. So again, is he a top ten? Is he to you? Is he a top ten playmaker? A top ten playmaker. Yes, I mean I've I've seen you guys talk about playmaker so many times that it seems like you can bend it to to any argument. So I'm, sorry, I'm asking you now: Is he a top ten playmaker? I believe he is a top ten playmaker. Yeah, is he a top ten passer. Yes. 
Yeah, these are things that we're just never going to agree. I with. mean, where? Okay, so where do you think he is? If he's not in the top ten, where do you put him? Like twelve? He's like like a top fifteen passer, or if if he is top ten, he's like number ten. But he's like a top fifteen passer around like nine to twelve, I guess. And then if he's a top, he's certainly not a top ten playmaker. I don't even think he's a top twenty playmaker. He's just nowhere near. Well, I mean, I've heard the term playmaker is skewed so much to where you go from players like Kobe to players like Stockton. And, I mean, it's like that's such a wide range of what you're assessing that, I don't know, I, 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 I feel. No problem. Like, no if you're, problem. It, it, sound, it, sounds like a, it sounds like a lot of you, your definition of playmaker means that the guy has to average 25 a game. And you know, if he, he doesn't, doesn't. 25 a game, he's Steve not Nash, a player. Steve Nash wasn't averaging 25 a game, and he's one of the greatest um, playmakers of all time. Okay, do you have Steve Nash over – yeah. you have Steve Nash yeah. over Steve. Yes. Okay, ah. so when you look at a player, like how much do you look at both sides of the ball? Um, Actually, I said this uh, – and we can, we can wrap up on this. Actually, I said this yesterday on the timeline. I think when it comes to, like, defense, I think many of you all have a hard time understanding this concept. So I'll just I'll I'll say this. Um, unless you and this is what I said ver verbatim, unless it's done at a transcendent level, or there is a noticeable gap between player A, player B, individual defense will never be as, as valuable as individual offense, right? That's Stockton was not a I agree. I agree. Stockton was not a transcendent defender. So the value of who he was as a defender isn't as wide as you're making it out to be. Whereas um, in my opinion. We're talking about a transcendent level offensive player in um in Nash. And the biggest reason why he was transcendent okay. is because is because of his ability to play make, put pressure on the defense, not only as a passer and playmaker, but also as an also as an aggressive scoring option as well, which again is something that Stockton it was it, it just wasn't his strong suit at all. Dude, but he, if he was such an aggressive uh, scorer, then why is his scoring in the same ballpark as Stockton? You mean Nash? Nash Nash played in a no, slower. Why is, why is Nash's scoring in the same ballpark as Stockton? Because Nash played in a slower pace era. So that's A. But his and team he, played at the same pace as the Jazz. The Phoenix Suns played at the same pace as the Jazz. I would, I would look have it to, up. I would have to, look look, have to, look it up. They were both around 97. Is Lone Cook? They were both around 97. I would, I would have, so to, look I have to go look that up. I have to go look, look it up. up. But even even the still, the Phoenix Suns played it roughly the even, same even pace. Still, this, this is where this is where again when it these comes are facts. to this is these are where again when it comes to watching the game, right? You yeah, as an aggressive right. scorer, if you are attacking the basket, even then you don't necessarily have to like score the basketball to put pressure on the defense for them to believe that you're going to score. But when it comes to Stockton, if he's just standing at the top of the key. He's not actually putting pressure on the defense. They don't believe that he's going to score. He's not presenting himself as a, as a scoring threat at all. This is the thing, though. Whenever you talk about Stockton, you literally make it sound like Stockton just walked to the top of the key and handed the ball to Malone. So did I just did I just say Malone? There's, I didn't say Malone yet. I didn't say or, Malone. Or, or anybody. But, the, I mean, that's what you always say. He said Stockton's Stockton. got no gravity. What I'm saying is that if he, if you're, if in a half court set and all you're doing is just standing at the top of the three point line, and there's never a moment where you're actively looking like in, to be an aggressive scoring threat, I'm not. The way I'm defending that player is drastically different from the way that I'm defending somebody who's just standing there at the top of the key. Can we agree that the Phoenix Suns offense created more space for slashing lanes for Nash than what Stockton had in Utah? Mm, which which version of um, Stockton in Utah? Any of them, dude. You compare the uh, seven well, seconds or less. We're we're way more spread out than than the Jazz in any year. Yeah, but I still wouldn't. I wouldn't say that, especially in the mid to late nineties when they started to manipulate illegal defensive rules, and they were without a doubt Stockton had more than enough capability attacking the basket um, than Nash did. For if you want to argue late eighties or early nineties, sure, I, I would agree. But by the time we got to the mid nineties. They were they were utilizing illegal defense so much so to where like Stockton at any point could have attacked the basket. There's there's times where Stockton and a post player are on the same side with one another, and everybody else is on the other side of the floor, and Stockton still isn't utilizing his ability to attack. Or there's times where Stockton is getting a screen, regardless if it's from um, Carl Malone or even Mark Eaton. He still doesn't he's not attacking the basket as a scoring threat. He just goes he's almost like he's just going through the motion. Screen gets set. All right, you're floating. I'm gonna pass it off to you. 
Like there's moments where he's not even looking at the rim to be aggressive. There's several times well, like that. I mean, bro, is there a difference between the lob threat between Mark Eaton and uh, Amari Stoudemire? I'm not talking about as a lob threat. I'm talking about him as a scorer. I'm but he goes hand in hand. There are five players on the court. What one player can do affects what another player can do. Mm. So, <laughs> you know what? Even, even when Stoudemire wasn't there, the, the scoring threat was still there. Stoudemire got hurt for a year. The scoring sure. threat was still there. Okay, but like if the problem. scoring threat was still – so then why wasn't – Nash, a, a supremely higher scorer than Stockton. Again, scoring threat doesn't mean that you are scoring, though. Scoring threat just means okay. you're presenting yourself to the defense as a viable scoring option. Stockton was not doing that to the same level as um, Nash was. He just wasn't. No, he was creating shots for other people, which reflected I, in, in the my opinion. In my opinion, he wasn't creating shots for other people, but <laughs> I, I guess. I, put I don't even know either. You don't think I believe that? No, I'm saying I don't. I don't think that either. I don't think that he was even creating. Once once we get off the stream, we can open up a, a which call from here, and we'll watch a game. And I I genuinely want you to tell me if some of these shots he's creating for someone else, because there's there's several times. Yeah, we are kind of arguing in a circle right now, because there there are several times where he it's not him creating the the shot. It's not him creating or generating anything. It's him just standing at the top of the key. Um, a player is moving off ball, goes through a screen, and now he presents himself as an open threat. That's not I mean, him sometimes, creating yeah. a shot. It's sometimes, let, yeah. let, me, let, me, let, me, let me not say this sometimes. That is majority, an overwhelming majority of his assists, especially in the late 80s, early 90s. That is a majority of his assists. Then why wasn't anyone else able to replicate because, that? Because, there's, because, every, because everybody else... I got every team in question. 75 I, years? I, I, I've already answered the question. No, not, not that many teams have had that many play finishers on their roster, and there's other ways to impact the game of basketball. Nash you know, didn't have better. that many play finishers? Oh, I think I think Nash... Uh, not uh, when When, when, Stod when Stoudemire is there, sure, but I don't... I, th I think even um, Malone, to an extent, uh, especially with his ability in the post, was was a still a slightly better option as well. Oh my! Someone forgot about the O five season. <laughs> yeah, but but a lot a lot of a lot of Stoudemire's ability to finish was based off of what pressure that um what's his name could put on the floor, put on the team. If if Malone was playing along somebody who was actually putting a lot of pressure on opposing defenses, though, which would allow him to get better looks at the rim, Malone's I think Malone would have been consistently a thirty point scorer and just looked way better as a player. But like, as in terms of like the actual ability to put pressure on defense or the ability to actually create open looks for your teammates, Stockton is just not. He's just not nowhere near. And like I said, once as soon as we get done with this, I'll we, we you can well do I'll do the same thing I've done with everybody else. You can pick a number between ten and fifteen. We'll watch him get these assists, and I and I want you to tell me which you are considering him to be creating shots for other players. What's the number between ten and fifteen? You know, That's just his assist, his assist average. How many assists he might have recorded in a game? On assists he got during that. And it, oh. it'll be a random game. It won't be any. It can be any random game you want. Ten to fifteen. If you pick thirteen, I'll get a thirteen assist game, and we'll watch him get the assist. And I promise you, he's not creating these shots anywhere near close. Then we'll watch a Nash game, and he'll watch a random Nash game, and we'll watch how Nash gets these assists, and he generates quality looks for his teammates based off of his ability to put pressure on the defense. I promise you, it's nowhere near the same. Not I'll, I'll, pr I'll promise you that the offenses will look totally different and that the the Suns will be much more spread out and have more dynamic finishers. I agree. Yeah. Oh, five, you know, can't you five attribute to Nash's ability too, though? Because of the fact that they're spread I out. I don't think Nash is trash. Like, I, I, I have I never, uh, I Nash and Stockton like, really, really close to each other. Uh, the, I, the never, real I, never, I never said that you thought Nash was trash. I think you're right about like the offense being more spread out and there was more spacing to operate with. But like, uh, also Nash was the reason why it was also spread out too. So like, guys, that's what I'm saying. I think he was much more respected as a, a scorer and a shooter, and like a ball handler, some Luca operating the pick and roll better. So I just that's some of the reasons as to why they were a lot I, more spread out. I agree. Talking Some team. aspects of what you're talking about, Nash was a little bit better. Nash was a, a little uh, quicker. You know, he was a little di more dynamic. I look at I look at uh, Stockton, Nash, and CP3 kind of in the same range, and and the different. I see I see uh, Stockton and CP3 as 
very similar type players. Same, and Nash same. is in there. And when I look at the offense and the defense, when I look at Stockton and Nash offensively, I think it's close. I think you can make a few arguments here for Nash. I, don't I, think think, make I don't think it's close. The reason why I don't think it's close because one um, – Can we watch score, it? Can we just watch it? No, no, no. I'm thinking – hold on a little. I'm, after the shows, then we can watch it. But, like, you'll see in the like in the, in the the film that we're going to watch that he's a lot more respected as a scorer. People are respecting him a lot more in the pick and roll. He's getting a lot more help and attention because of the, he has much better, like, scoring threat. Like, the respect of his scoring ability is just much better than that. I mean, um, Stockton. I also think – He's just a better like shooter overall as well. Um, I think his decision making and also his ability to bend defense is a lot better than what Stockton was able to provide even the late nineties when they were um what's the word I'm looking for? When they were uh the later the later nineties jazz teams, like when they were able to manipulate the illegal defense pretty much. So like You'll see in the clips. Like it's hard for me to just explain without you watching it again. Okay, let, let, let me just finish on on the other side of the ball. I right. do think there. I do think there was a noticeable difference on defense. Definitely. So, like I, I think it, I think if Nash I, I, were a better defender, I like I think Nash was not a good. Defender. And that's and that's fair. But I just I think agree. I think the gap offensively, um, even if you don't think it's as wide, I think that it's just more impactful to be. A transcendent offensive player than it would be to be a better defender, even if the gap is noticeable. Because again, the value that you're providing in contrast to the the other way around. Because even even though Stockton was a great defender, um, that's very limited on what he could do on the floor because there's only so many players that he can defend, or only so many ways that he could defend. Um, and I think that because of the, those limitations, in contrast to someone such as Nash, who was the engine for an entire side of the offense and isn't a complimentary piece rather than I, kind of supporting everyone else. I think that's the I, difference. I, did, I, did, I just think you're moving the goalposts a little bit. I think you're saying like Nash was the engine and not giving Amari and Marion and uh, Richardson and all Mike the other Antoni. guys. Credit. And yeah. then you're saying, yeah, Mike D'Antoni. And then I think on the Stockton side, okay, I think. We would have to do the same thing. We, if you, if, if. This and this will fucking piss me off with though. If we have to give the Dan Tony, <laughs> then fine. Then we have to do the same thing for Jerry Salone. And I tried to just do that with Salone, and then that wasn't okay. So I, I, this is where I'm like, I'm just confused. And again, I'm not knocking. That's why I specifically I, tried to point to the years with no Salone. But even in the years with Salone, it's like that's this. This is the equivalent to me saying, well, technically speaking, Nash in 2010 was still leading a great offense and da da da. But like the way that he ran it, Alvin Gentry read it, ran his offense. Still in a very similar way than what D'Antoni was running it. So like that, um, but that's uh, that's just dumb being dumb. I know I don't want to spend too much time on that. That's dumb. Being dumb. <laughs> we got it. You got it. You better. You better tax Steve Nash the way you want to tax everyone. Yeah, okay. Else. So then, so in 2010, when Alvin, J- I'm when not Alvin just, I don't argue for John Stockton. Oh, I keep the same okay, energy, uh, sir. So keep the Alvin, same when energy, when sir. About, when Alvin Gentry was coaching the team. Why was stock? I mean, why was um, what's the name still putting up similar numbers? Why? Because it, it was not like he did anything different from like okay, any crazy that's difference. That's my point. That's I'm my not, point. But look, this is the difference between no, no, me and I'm, you. No, I'm just no, I'm just saying that's the point in general. Like if we if oh, we were okay, to do that, okay, Logo got cooked guess, by pirates, so he moved. I guess that we're doing that's the same right. thing. I just want, I just want to end it because I I I want to see the I want to watch yeah. the games and I want him to tell me. What is we, 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 we're gonna we're gonna ha- I I hate to, we're gonna have to do it another day because I've been up for like twenty four hours at this point. I mean, like as a, as a, as a, I, I stayed up. I stayed up. I, Mars can vouch. I asked him like, what you know? I wanted to I wanted to finally come on the show because like you know, and even low like I, I I like you guys. I like this show. I watch it like. All the time, you know. So, in uh, been saying stuff back and forth in the comments. I wanted to, you know, finally I come did, on, but I did have a, to stay as up. A joke, as a joke, for whatever reason, every single time I do this with somebody, I can't. I we, and it always falls through. Every no, it won't fall. Well, bro, <laughs> life life does go on. It doesn't have to be this moment. I promise. Like I'll do it in the next couple of days if you want. I'll, I'll do it. In the next days. People have told me this. Chat, how many times have I done this? Chat, There's I'm not saying you're doing it on purpose. True, though. That is, I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not saying you're doing it on purpose. I'm not saying you're doing it on purpose. I'm not saying you're doing it on purpose. No. But it just so happens every time I do this, it always falls apart. Every Low. time, 
Lo, if we do it in the next 72 hours, will you come back and say that it didn't fall fire, through? Fire, you fire, did fire. wrestle. Okay. Fire. Mars, that show for me? I got to do I'll do some no, no, I'm, chats, I'm in guess. the middle of something right Hey, Lo. Well, he got to do the super chats, man. Hey, Lo, yeah, can, that, you that, drop, can you drop that, that website you was going to watch those games on, though? Yeah. Okay, let me let me read these super chats. Um, Drink More Water said, Pirates, if you listen to music, who's your favorite artist? You know, I've been listening recently. I like a lot of jazz. So I like... Uh, of course uh, you like the jazz. I'm not surprised. I, <laughs> yeah, yeah, right? No, I like Miles Davis. I like John Coltrane. I really like a lot of different music. I mean, I like... Um, I like a lot of classical music. Uh, I like Chopin. Uh, I, I, recently, I've been listening to... I guess there's this genre, lo-fi. I don't know if you guys have heard it. It's kind of yeah. like... Mm. Yeah, it's just like a little techno fusion yeah, yeah. To it, and it's really relaxing so i like i like music like not if it's not taylor swift i'm not listening so. <laughs> yeah i've never actually i couldn't name a taylor swift song oh well, you're missing out oh, you're missing out. Story, you've locked <laughs> hey, um, hey, hey um, mars put the put the put this i don't think i can put i put it in um the witch call it but it wouldn't let let it go through okay put it in uh, the private chat it's yeah, in, I put it in a private the, chat. The link's in the private chat. Yeah, man. Another thing, put it in the actual chat so that everyone Oh, can, okay. Because I can't, I don't think I have access to, you know what I'm saying? Okay. Um, oh, you're trying to give everybody this okay. Now, Christ said, W debate brought some knowledgeable and brought some someone knowledgeable and it nullified the trolling. No knock on anyone who comes up there. No, nah, knock everyone who comes yeah, up Yeah, no, it's definitely a knock for everybody who came up there. Yeah, <laughs> casuals, casuals. <laughs> God Serena said, why he season low and then cook him? I mean, he was done too. <laughs> Reggie Reg said, leave it to low to come F up the fun. LOL. Fact. God Serena came again, said, low sounds like a woman who wants a 10-figure man. Oh, my God. <laughs> low, 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 unrealistic. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not even going to lie to you, bro. He's, he's I don't saying get you're any... unrealistic. Uh, okay. I don't want to. God Serena said pirate isn't even trying and cooking still. And then pirate cooked low so bad that he got tired. Got tired. <laughs> there we go. That's all the super chats. Dub, can I end the show? Chat, if I if I I'm was um over. if I didn't have to go do oh yeah, dub, stay after real quick. Oh, okay. Bet, bet, bet. Yeah, no, no. Damn, just do as Lou says. That's crazy. No, 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 no. He, he, Mars, you nasty. He was in the I'm, group I'm, chat. He was in the group chat. You nasty, bro. Damn, bro. Hey, I'm, <laughs> bro, 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 bro. Right, well, I'm ending the show. We'll see you guys on Thursday. Um, w show, W Pirate, W.